Commencing Roby Tech Broadcast Checklist. Computer hardware. We are go. Cameras. Go. Audio. Go. Moderators. Go for moderators. Deals. Deals ready. Giveaways. We are go. Dad jokes. Dad jokes online. Zip ties. You can never have enough zip ties. Live and broadcast worldwide. This is Roby Tech. What is going on, everybody? Oh, okay. There's no camera there. I will tell you something, guys. Just dead serious. Dead, like, just just legit. Um, uh, legit, guys. It has been, it has been a fight to go live. Uh, yeah, there we go. It has been a fight. Let me, uh, let me restart this. Let me uh, re get. It has been. It is like everything has fought me going live today, guys. It's been so whack. Um, everything was ready to go, and then it just got uh, super weird. But we are live now. Sorry about that. Sorry about the delay. Um, the like HDMI cables went out, and then like, hey, thank you very much, Play Device, for the thing. HDMI cables went out. Like everything, everything that could have gone wrong, that g did go wrong when I was trying to go live today, but I am very excited about today's stream because it's a little bit different than what we typically do. Um, we, uh, we are going to be, um, it's like pre-built in gaming, the show that we used to do called pre-built in gaming, but this is like laptops and gaming is essentially the way it is. We're gonna show you two incredible laptops here from Best Buy um, that are great options. There's actually three that we're gonna kind of talk about. We're gonna show you two. And then the one of them, we're actually gonna get a giveaway live here on the show. Um, and along with giving it upgrades and stuff like that. But the upgrades are gonna be completely based on what you guys do. So a couple things people are probably asking, Roby, how does the giveaway work? So let me talk about the giveaways. First and foremost, we have a $25 new gift card up for grabs. Just gotta head over to youtube.com slash Roby Tech Live, hit that thumbs up button. We hit 250 likes, give away a $25 new A gift card. If we get a level five hype train, we'll give away a $25 new A gift card. If we get to level 10, then we give away $100 cash. That is it. Also up for grabs is this beautiful RTX 4070 5800X3. Uh, sorry, uh, I don't forgot, the Spider-Man. We'll get a link to that. The Spider-Man PC is up for grabs. This is custom design from Blue Horse Studios. So this is up for grabs for subs only. So uh, we're gonna be drawing the winner for that in early January. If you wanna get in on that, all you gotta do is subscribe with your Amazon Prime. Tier one gets you three entries, tier two, five, tier three, 10. And then every gifted sub gets you an additional entry. This is the last day to get in on this giveaway as well. That is for subs only. If you want the rules, head over to Discord and that's, uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Now, you guys are also asking, Roby, tell me about the laptop. So the laptop we're gonna be giving away is right here. We're gonna show you it. It's the MSI. It is their, uh, basically, their Cyborg 15. Okay, it's a $1,000 laptop that we're gonna be giving away. Right now, what it has in it is eight gigs of RAM. It's got a 12, 650H. It's got an RTX 4060. We're gonna show you how it works. If we get to 100 subs, then we will upgrade the RAM. If we get to 150 subs, then I'll also upgrade the NVMe drive that goes inside of it. So we'll clone it, upgrade it, and then we'll ship that off. And then one lucky winner at the very end of the show will basically get to win the thing. So we're gonna show you guys what it performs like on eight gigs and also on 32 gigs. So basically the more that you do, the more that you do, the better the upgrades will get and the better this win, this laptop goes to whoever the lucky winner is. The other one we're gonna show off is mine, which I actually ended up getting as part of this, uh, as part of this thing. We're gonna show you the Lenovo Legion. Both of these, I'm gonna show you a 4060 and a 4070 mobile today. I'm gonna to show you how to upgrade a laptop. I'm gonna show you how to take the back off. I'm gonna show you what the performance upgrade is when you do, uh, when you actually do put drives in here. We're gonna show you how the games and all that sort of stuff perform, set expectations and all that sort of stuff. So it's up to you guys to basically win. Now, you do not need to be subscribed to win the laptop. You just have to be here. But if you wanna get up your chances, drop your Amazon Prime sub just like LB Crucial did. That gets you three entries towards winning this PC when we draw it at the end, as well as 
as every other giveaway, including the Starfield PC we're building next week and all that other stuff. So again, being subbed to the channel gets you extra entries towards winning basically really ridiculous things. It's funny because I was watching like Nico Lull, who I'm a huge fan of Nico Lull. She's saying, hey, we're gonna be doing a stream today. We're giving away a Nintendo Switch. I'm like, hey, that's fun. We're giving away a thousand dollar laptop. So awesome, awesome system. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. And you guys are gonna see some really ridiculous kind of hardware and some deep dives. And again, an opportunity for you to ask about laptops. Cause the other thing too is I feel like we talk a lot about pre-built. Hey, Speed Racer. Hey, there he is building his amazing system. And there he goes, 25 subs. We are already on our way towards upgrading this laptop. Um, but uh, again, if you have questions about laptops, that's why we're here. I'm gonna bring into our text. I got Pastor Dame, uh, who's who's a good friend of ours, actually our script writer. Uh, we also got Zeist in that we're gonna bring in as well. Pastor Dame actually now has one of these as well, the 4060 version of this Legion laptop 7i. The main reason you might be asking, Roby, why do you wanna do a laptop? Um, and we'll, we'll let, uh, we'll let da uh, Damien talk about this a little bit later. This laptop is one of my favorite laptops I've ever tested. We've tested a ton of laptops, and I'll talk a little bit about NVIDIA laptops and stuff like that a little bit later on. But I wanna get that in there, and wow, we already hit Hype Train uh, level five. Uh, wow, so I think we're on level five. We have to finish level five. Let's see what happens here in a second. So we just gotta fit. Uh, what about the eSIM card? There is no eSIM card in this. Do the Drew dropping again. GS Tickle Stick, love that name. Uh, dropping it in there too. Um, and then we're gonna we're gonna surprise attack. We're just waiting for the oh level five. We're waiting for the thing to catch up to you guys who are rocking it right now. Okay, so we're now okay. So we've unlocked the twenty-five dollar new Guff card. If we get to level ten. Remember, we just give away hundred dollars cash. All you got to do is PayPal, all that sort of stuff. I know I'm backed up on those. I'll take care of those tonight. Uh, basically, uh, Blondie had sent them to the wrong person to send them out. That's not her fault. That's our fault for not communicating that. So we'll get that done. Is this an OLED laptop? No, this is a, we'll get the link to the laptop here in a minute. In fact, I think we have the links. Tom and Blondie, you can drop the links in chat so we can show this off and I'll show this here in a minute. I do need to fix something really quick. So you guys will see him. This is wrong. That's not, that's not your fault. This is the one from last week. Okay, so this is the first laptop we're gonna show off right there. And then we also have this one. I'm gonna fix this real quick. So this is the first laptop we're gonna show off. And then we also have this one right here as well. So this is the laptop we're giving away. Oop, not that one. When it, that, we're not giving that away. Oh, dang it. When you think you're doing the right thing and then it doesn't work. Okay, there it goes. This is the one we're giving away today. So the laptop we're giving away is a 1920 by 1080 system. It's got a 12th gen 12650H CPU in it. It's got an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060, a 512 gig SSD, which if we get 150, will be a two terabyte NVMe SSD, eight gigs of RAM that if we get the upgrade, will actually go up to uh, one terabyte first, then two terabytes. Uh, and then we have HDMI 2.1 and 144 Hertz uh, display. So that's the one that we're doing today. And then the second laptop we're talking about today is the Lenovo Legion Slim 7i. This is a 2560 by 1600 with a amazing IPS screen, Intel 13th gen Core i9-13900H. It's got an NVIDIA RTX 4070 in it, one terabyte SSD, which we've added in second, four terabyte to 16 gigabytes of RAM, which we're gonna upgrade today to 32 gigs. It's got DisplayPort 2.1, 12 hour battery life, and a 240 hertz screen. So that is the one that the second one we're gonna be showing off today and showing you guys benchmarks and stuff for. The retail on the one right now, it's on sale. Uh, for less sub 800 bucks, if you wanted to pick this up and you don't win, uh, but it, the person who wins, it's a, 1,099 regular, and then the other laptop is $2,000, so that'll show you the differences between the two systems and giving you an idea in terms of cost and stuff like that. So that is everything. We're at level, we're two minutes from finishing level six, guys. Remember, let's get to level 10 and knock that out uh, already. And thank you very much for all of you guys who are subscribing. We're almost to 50. Remember, if we get to 150, you guys win a ridiculous start winning an uh, up late, upgraded laptop. If we get to 200, you get a ridiculously upgraded laptop in that regard. Okay, I think I've gone through everything. Is that clear? I, I, now I can actually talk to you guys. Okay, it's just people have questions. And let me go and bring the chat, the text in. I'm gonna jump into tech chat. Okay, now we got them in here. Let me unmute them and then go from there. What's up? Okay, good, it's clear. Hey. 
Hey, what's up, guys? How are you guys doing? Welcome, everybody. Yeah, so somebody's asking, let's, uh, so we have two laptops that we're talking about today. We have the Lenovo Legion Slim, which um, my friend who's here on here, for both people who've never heard before, you guys are meeting Damien. You've seen him on the stream before, but you've never seen him. He's never been in chat. Uh, he is our script writer, so he's, he's like essentially um, the uh, version of me. Um, <laughs> so the, basically, Roby's my puppet is what yeah, it comes down to. Exactly. Yeah, he's he's I, he is my, but he takes all of my thoughts and then turns them into coherent sentences. I used to do just that, but it's nice to have somebody else who also does that as well. Um, and then we also have Zeistin on the chat. But the thing is, is that Damien actually uses this laptop. So not only that, or is this somebody who um, not only is this a person who um, can is like who can talk about it but he actually uses the little brother of this system so that way you can get an idea. Like he is, he was like so excited about the fact that we're gonna show you guys this live on stream today. He was like, hey, let's um, let's go ahead and uh, have, you know, can I be on the stream? I was like, yeah, dude, for sure. You can be on the stream. So yeah, that's why we're adding him here as well. I'm just logging into some stuff real quick so we can have it. And there we go, guys, level six done, on our way to level seven. Remember, we just gotta get to level 10 and we'll unlock that that really epic giveaway right there. Uh, when you ask about entering, uh, there will be a chance at random points throughout the um, throughout the throughout the stream where you will be uh, basically allowed to enter to win. Um, you just got to be paying attention. Um, the main reason we do it that way versus um, doing it via Gleam is that we want people to actually be a part of the stream, uh, engage all that sort of stuff. Um, so that's the way that we basically handle that. So going from there. Uh, it is not, it's US, Canada, and Mexico, but if you are in worldwide, uh, as long as you will cover customs and shipping, we will ship it to anywhere as long as there's not a US embargo. So it can, it is worldwide, just there's some additional entries there. If you're in the Canada, US, or Mexico, there are no uh, issues like that at all. Paying attention, yeah, sad noodle boy. There we go, that's funny. Um, better performance from a desktop plus more laptops won't let you upgrade GPU, CPU. If you want an upgradable laptop, check out the framework computer. That is true. Wiz is very, that is very, we actually are going to be covering that coming up this year, the framework one. Um, we actually showed that off. We got hands on with that at QuakeCon, um, the I framework one. I cannot wait to see that in person. Yeah, it's, it's going to be pretty rad. Um, and we, we, what we got to play with it at the beginning was actually pretty cool. Hey, Speed Racer drop in another five gifted subs. Guys, there's level fi there's 50. Remember, I'm just going to let it go. If we get to 200, it's a fully upgraded laptop. That's the way this works in terms of what we got. I have never bought or owned a laptop. Okay, so people might be asking, hey, and I'll let you know, Damien, I'll give you a chance to talk about this. Yeah. Why a laptop? Why do people like laptops? Because this is something we've done a lot of research for. Yeah, that's a great question. And it really is one of those things that you want to look at if you're even consider like anytime that you're considering a piece of tech, like you have to answer the question of what need does this fill for me? And with a laptop, it's it's one of those devices that can can fill multiple niches, especially if you're if you're like a student or you're somebody that is doing a lot of work on the go having a laptop, having that portability to be able to have that pick up and go wherever you you need the power is an incredible thing to have. Now, if you're if you're stationary, you're at a desk, like that's where we love the builds, we love the custom rigs, uh, and you know, the RGB is glorious, it's so good. Uh, but uh, but having a laptop to be able to grab and go is is also pretty fantastic. And there's just, you know, it's funny because we're in this world, we're, we're in, we're a little bit in this world um, where uh, it's a little bit odd because people now have this thing where you have Steam Decks and you have Steam Decks and yep. you have uh, you have like Legion Goes and all that sort of stuff as well. So you might be saying, well, Roby, what about something like that versus a laptop? Well, understand when you look at a Steam Deck or a Legion Go or even like an ROG Ally, um, which I mean, again, uh, are great handheld. The resolution for those is 1080p and what they essentially use 
first is the APU or the graphics chip, graphics card that is integrated onto the CPU. So again, right. you kind of, if you think about the performance from a gaming standpoint, and it's more than just that, but you have handhelds and then you have laptops and then you actually have things like desktops. And again, each one of those is kind of how they work in terms of the amount of wattage, where you might see something like, uh, you know, a Legion or a um, or an ROG Ally using, you know, what? 25 watts, 25, 20, 35 watts. You can see desktop, you can see laptop systems like this that are in the, you know, up to 90, sometimes even 100, depending on the size, etc. Most of them are in the 50s and 60s. And you got desktops that can literally be using four or 500 uh, uh, power, you know, basically uh, uh, watts of power. And they, so they, they, there's, there's, they're, they have different purposes. Now, laptops are also great in terms of the thing, the fact of the matter is, is they are, portable workstations, right? So again, you might Absolutely. have something that can game, but then you can write papers on it. You can do web browsing. You can do a lot of things. And for a lot of us who do jobs, especially those of us who travel, that's where laptops come in there. There are also things that are desktop replacements. They're kind of weird. You've seen me show those off from time to time. Things like the, the Falcon, uh, the Origin, the MSI, the M18 from Alienware, which are these massive desktop replacements. But the problem is, is that because they have so much heat in such a small space, they have a tendency, and especially in the modern day times, to be so ridiculously They're loud. So loud. So loud. They're so loud. <laughs> so I think the thing that we're just, we're kind of showing you guys here today is, we're finding things that are essentially balances uh, between what are what is noise and performance, right? Is really kind of the thing they're going in there. Hey, by the way, thank you very much, guys. Getting to level seven, still unlock the twenty-five dollar new gift card, and so uh, going from there. So pretty much excited. Let me set the next tier here, and then we'll uh, we'll start talking about the two laptops in in depth. Um, but yeah, I think this is like, think of this as like our, uh, part of this is just education as well as you guys getting to ask questions about something we don't show a lot of. And I thought this would be kind of an interesting opportunity to do that, um, which I think is fun. It, uh, it may not be, you guys might be like, this is boring Roby. Uh, and if so, I'm, I apologize. Um, so the next goal is upgraded RAM. You can totally blame it on me if it ends up being boring. Exactly. Giveaway laptop. Okay, and so we need 100 for that. And we are on 52. It's weird, because I have to put in 01010001 2004. Oh, not 2004, 2024. Wow, that would be in the past. That'd be like a bass from past. Okay, next gear, no, okay, upgrades are now happening. Thank you very much, Igor, for the subs. And we're going in there as well. Um, I consider looking to live with Elite ThinkStation Lobo M16 for Camry for cybersecurity thoughts. Okay, so uh, for cybersecurity stuff, actually, um, the stuff that I've actually been really impressed with uh, has been not just Lenovo, but also MSI, which we're going to talk a little bit about MSI. Uh, the ThinkStation, the one thing that, uh, you know, ThinkStations are essentially what used to be IBM's uh, <laughs> ThinkPads, right? Uh, great. If you're expecting it just from a workstation standpoint, uh, most of them have integrated GPUs. There's a couple that have discrete GPUs. They're relatively quiet. I know a lot of people who use them as like their ultrabook type PCs, and they've been really, really happy with them. I would add just, the, the thing is, is there's a couple things that we always like to talk about, um, looking for uh, the quality of the screen. Uh, and then the other two is you can get a ThinkPad that's either an Intel Evo or an AMD Advantage are my two other things, because that means camera and all those things have also not only been signed off by Lenovo, but have also been signed off by Intel and AMD specifically to make sure that they have high grade components for things like uh, cameras, uh, uh, the, like the workstation stuff, uh, how much Wi-Fi, instant on, all that sort of stuff as well. But I have no issue with either one of those systems. Can we do a teardown? That would be cool. We are gonna take them apart. We're actually gonna show you the other side and all that sort of stuff as well. Yes, I will be doing that at the same time. But that's, that's, essentially, that's essentially what the, uh, the, the ThinkPads are, the Lenovo systems are. They split off. Until laptops are easily upgradable and repairable as desktops. <clears throat> so until laptops are easily upgradable, I don't see them as replacement. Again, that is usually somebody who's essentially saying, essentially saying, I don't have a use for them. That is absolutely true. If you have no use for a laptop, you shouldn't get a laptop. It is not a and desktop okay. replacement. It is a laptop. That is, that is absolutely true. What's up, Sergeant Nobody? What's up, everybody? I miss old gateway desktops. Well, 
That's one of you. Oh, the cow box. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's a solid one. <laughs> Discord is discord.gg slash Robitech. I legit should not win a laptop. And you don't have to. If you have no use for it, um, uh, you don't, don't do it then. But if you do have a use for it, this is... The thing that I'm gonna show you is this is something, and where I find laptops awesome, this is something desktops can't do. I'm gonna go to my parents' house and they don't have a computer, so I take my laptop with me. And I will literally sit there and, uh, I will literally sit there and use Netflix and play games like Hearthstone or uh, Apex and sit there and completely chill. That is something you cannot do on a desktop. Laptop creates freedom for you to go to Starbucks and play Apex there or do work there. That is something you cannot do with the desktop. Laptops are portable PCs, and so that's where um, that's, I mean, that's where to, you that's the big difference, right? To be fair, though, like any desktop is portable if you're brave enough. Yeah, that, that is true. That is true. If you really wanted to get hardcore about it, I guess you could do it. I live with my parents. <laughs> I mean, a bunch of us just did that hardcore trip with our computers, <laughs> right? And and believe it or not. We actually saw people there just playing on laptops, right? And again, if you're playing Fortnite, Apex, those kind of games, playing on a laptop is completely possible too. Um, and and doing it at, and it's a much easier checkout and check-in process than what we brought. And the only two is like, for instance, these new MSI ones that we just got finished, their Legion, sorry, their MSI Prestige AI 16, that has like an OLED screen uh, with, a, with a, um, a mobile 4070. And that thing is ridiculous. It's also crazy light, and the screen is better than most of your monitors. So, uh, streaming from a laptop, you have seen me do that. You can do that, but then we're starting to get into things like higher end desktop replacement laptops, which is a very different situation. You and I do, and I do know people. I like we saw people, and I think both Zeiston. I don't think, da yeah, I don't think Damien can do this, but Zeiston will say there were people streaming and gaming from laptops at QuakeCon. Oh, absolutely. So, <clears throat> yeah, I think there's a, a pretty big market of people that are have a. Uh multi-family house households now too and it's easier to have one laptop than have two desktops so. yes it is just understand guys we're not saying this replaces it we're just telling you that this is a option for people who um this is an option for people especially like i use my laptop more than i use my desktop but that is just a part of who i am and how i function right so there's a big difference there <clears throat> what yeah i like the idea of laptops but sfs okay so one shot Again, I have probably one of the smallest SFF PCs, which is a, which is a, uh, in terms of power hungry, it's a, it's a Tiki. But again, when you're traveling with the Tiki, you're still traveling with a portable monitor. You're still traveling with a, a, a power cable. You need a keyboard, you need a mouse, all that sort of stuff. What's the best laptop to stream and play? So at that point in time, I'd say you're either looking at, but honestly, the best one from a, from a quiet, and performance standpoint is actually the Razer Blade 18. Uh, main reason it's quiet. Uh, it has a 4090. Uh, it also, ha which is which is the equivalent. Uh, we have seen desktop performance at like 4080 desktop performance on a mobile GPU. So I'd say a, uh, I'd say a 49. Uh, so the 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 18 the Razer Blade 18 inch uh, is probably the best if you were going to spend the money uh, both for gaming and streaming on a laptop. And it's four thousand dollars. Yeah, it'll cost you, but you yeah. can do it. Uh, Araxnus, if you're like, no offense, but if you're talking about battery life on 4090 laptops, that is, <laughs> that's not a consideration. Yeah, the battery on a, <laughs> that at that point in time is going by. Somebody's saying, well, what is sufficient RAM for gaming? Is it different between laptops? No, actually, and you guys are gonna see that a little bit. Laptops can run from an OS and productivity standpoint on a little bit less. So you'll actually see laptops with eight gigs and four gigs of RAM. Uh, but for gaming, it's 16 and 32 is usually the best. And not, right now, nowadays, we're really recommending 32 gigs. Yeah, battery life, except for, so green crabs, except for uh, there are new laptops, like for instance, in MSI is an example of one, the MSI uh, Legion uh, Pro, uh, the Le sorry, MSI Prestige 16 AI. That one actually gets 16 hours of battery life 
and it is a gaming laptop. Now for gaming, you're getting four to five hours, but that's still pretty impressive given what it is. Yeah, and I would I would even say, you know, the M16 that we have does pretty good. Yeah, Danzo, yeah, Danzo, it is. You're, we're gonna show that off here in a minute. I'm just asking, like, because I don't get to talk about laptops all that much, I'm just asking a lot of, a lot of people just, there's a, probably a ton of questions about laptops and then we'll start going into them as well. Sorry, Zeist, did I interrupt you? What were you gonna say? Oh no, I was saying, you know, as far as battery life goes on gaming laptops, even things like the, the M16 that we have does very well on just the battery. Yes, it does, yeah. So uh, Pulse Station says, what about the Lenovo Legion 5 Slim with a 7640 AM, uh, 7640, AMD 7640 and an RTX 4060? Again, absolutely, I, that's a great laptop. I'm really glad that they brought that up. Yeah, go ahead, Damien, I'll let you talk about it. Yeah, uh, so I just, uh, I was doing a little bit of browsing on Best Buy, just looking at some different options. Now the um, the things that I've noticed a difference between the uh, the the 7i and 5i you're going to have uh, a more extended keyboard on the the 7i models the 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 5i looks like it's uh, the the keyboard's maybe a little bit bigger the the touchpad's a little bit more centered on the laptop itself so aesthetically slightly different um, but I believe that laptop also has an OLED display. Yep. Yep, and the other 4060, we're gonna show you what a 4060 is like from a gaming standpoint. But we actually, if you wanna see how the Legion, the 4060 performs, now we did this with the Intel one and you can check that out. We actually have a whole review that just went live last week that shows you what the performance will be like in that. But I have no issue with AMD or Intel chips. Both of them are fantastic from a hardware standpoint in terms of using it. So, okay, right, so I wanted to start off the guys, the one that we're gonna start off today because um, we, we now that I, I want to get a little bit started here uh, today, we're going to start it off. We're going to kick it off with the high boy, the, the big boy. Uh, so this one's at two thousand dollars. This is the Lenovo Legion Slim 7i. This is a 19, uh, basically a, a 13900H processor, which is 14 core, 20 thread CPU, 6P cores, 8E cores with a max boost frequency of 5.4 gigahertz. The GPU in this is the RTX 4070 mobile. Uh, when you think about the desktop equivalent of that, it's basically a desktop, you, for the mobile 40 series, you can think of it as a single step down. Seems to be where it is from a performance standpoint. So this works like a base level in some, like a, a, a literally somewhat reduced RTX 4060 from a desktop standpoint. Uh, uh, we've got display, we've got a 16 inch QHD plus, and we, we talked a little bit about the plus. What does plus mean? Well, that means it's literally a 1440p screen, but because it's got a little bit of extra edge, that's why it's called QHD plus. So this is actually 2560 by 1600, and it's got a refresh rate of 240 hertz, and it's a 16 by 10 inch aspect ratio. It's got a one terabyte SSD with a second slot open for an, another NVMe drive. We have 16 gigs of RAM, of which 16 gigs are soldered, and it has a slot for a second sewed in, which you guys will see us install today, and taking it up to 32 gigs. It's got one display, HDMI 2.1, a 12 hour battery life, and a 240 hertz refresh rate. So, and you guys are seeing it here. Actually, you're seeing it basically right here on the top. This is the Lenovo Legion Slim, and we'll show you a little bit in terms of the how loud it is and all that sort of stuff. But the first thing that you will notice about the Slim is the fact that it doesn't look like a bloody gaming laptop. So one of the things that we really liked about this, and Damien and I had this conversation in general, is that this has a very polished look that if you are a professional, unlike Zeistin, myself, or Bmock, we are not professionals, we are gamers. Um, but and if you I are just somebody- And on the internet. Yeah, but there, there are people who want to go into a boardroom and not have it look like something that has, like came off of a UFO, has RGB everywhere and stuff like that. And that's one of the things that's actually very nice about the Lenovo Legion Slim. The other thing too is you'll see that from a profile standpoint, it's very thin. And from a weight standpoint, it's actually not too heavy. Now the way that, the one thing that is kind of a bummer about this particular laptop is the fact that you'll see that I actually have a little dongle coming off. And that's because this, unlike the, uh, the MSI that we're gonna be showing off later on, does not have an RJ45 port. One of the things that it does have, and one of my favorite features about this is, check this out in the back. When I open this up, look at that. It actually lights up and shows you what the connections in the back are. So you've got, you've got a powered USB, you've got two other USBs, and so you don't have to guess where plugs are. But on the side, you also have a SD card slot, 
Um, you have an, you, you have a lock of some sort. I don't know what the lock is. Do you know off the top of your head, Damien? And then you that have two. Go ahead. That is for the webcam. Oh, for the webcam. Oh, that's to turn off the camera. That's right. Cool. Physical yep. webcam. And then you've got two USB-C uh, connections as well. The other thing too is now that we've got it kind of opened up again, you're seeing that 16 inch IPS display, probably, and I, I, Damien, I'd love to have you chime in between this yep. and the MSI, Presti uh, MSI Prestige AI 16, probably one of the best looking IPS displays I've ever seen in terms of nits and stuff like that. It, the other thing too is, is that- It's an absolutely stunning display. It's it really, you guys, I, it's one of those we can never show you that really comes across well. Um, uh, it's, that never comes across well uh, on uh, streaming and stuff like that is just how good the display is uh, on this system. In terms of keyboard, you've actually got almost like this squished, but you do actually have a full 10 key for basically people who are like accountants or want to use 10 keys. This has been important for a lot of people. Well, all in all, like it's nice to actually have. You've also got the full arrow key, which is great for gaming, your WASD. Gaming on this actually feels pretty nice. Pretty good size, uh, pretty good size trackpad. And then the one other thing that this thing has that will blow, that also really, really impressed us is the quality of the sound. So you actually do get spatial sound with this laptop. The quality of the sound is actually really, really good. Uh, and then again, uh, you also have, um, you also have some, some really, really other cool, neat, the other neat feature I wanna tell you about is right here, this little disc right here. So this little disc tells you uh, from a light standpoint, what mode the system is essentially running in. And so there's three modes that it comes out of the box with. And this is one of the things that you've started to see in a lot of laptops. Oops, if I, op if I open up the right thing. You've got a quiet mode where you'll actually see this run blue. You've got a, um, you've got a uh, balance mode, which is white. And then you have a overdrive mode, which is like when you really need productivity, et cetera, and CPU, which runs to red. And then the other thing too that we also talk about, which is one of the reasons we love this laptop so much, and I'll go into that in, we'll show you guys that, is that when you game, when you actually game, the system itself is not crazy loud. So when we game on like a 4090 system, which I can show you a little bit later, but when you game on like a 4090 system, dude, it sounds like a freaking jet engine. This is one where you can actually turn the speakers up to about 40%. Uh, it, probably tops out between 53 and 54 decibels, which is about the sound of like what? Regular chatter, it's like a human conversation, right, Damien? Yep. And so, uh, which is a human conversation, and then that's about as loud as it gets when you are gaming. I, you guys, if, if you've ever watched some of the Intel morning shows when I streamed from like the Falcon or from the Origin or from some of the, uh, or the M18, <laughs> that thing you can actually hear, it is so blooming loud. And you do need to wear headphones in order to game on it. This one, you do not need to wear headphones to game on this PC, so, which is actually pretty cool. I do want to just kind of chime in here, just real quick, on the uh, the light indicator on the um, on the uh, the the power button ring there. So uh, blue is whisper mode, uh, white is auto. So this is where the, um, the where the Legion laptop and and some of their AI stuff uh, deals with this too, where it it will it will do a, a bit of a, a diagnostic on the laptop to um, to to optimize the fan curve for what you need at that point in time and like we said in our review red one the red ones go faster you know because we learned that from orcs from 40k yep yep so again it's just it's it makes it very easy in terms of, of in terms of just figuring it out but again, you can see right here, like this is just some of the stuff that you're basically, that kind of comes with the laptop, the overall, the overall, like how it runs. Um, let me bring up, maybe it's not Legion Arena. What is the name of the app that lets me switch the? Are you thinking Legion Vantage? Yeah, I have Legion Vantage open. That lets me switch my performance profile. And I don't know why I can't find it all of a sudden. It's not this. I literally did this like 50 times and now it's like there's like literally a button that lets you, oh, it's here. It's not, and then uh, I will say the other thing I do want to let you guys know you're seeing this down here is it does come with McAfee. I didn't want to take anything away that this thing didn't have on it already. 
What is the name of the app, dude? I cannot, all of a sudden I cannot remember. And it's, it's it, like I know. <laughs> uh, so the only one that I can think of is, is the Lenovo Vantage. Which I have um, open. Which you have open. Uh, so if you, um, ba -ba -ba, if you click on um, up in the top right hand corner underneath Legion Edge, you'll see thermal modes. And I believe that some of that, those settings in there uh, will help you establish like a custom profile. Yeah, I don't know uh, why this isn't showing up, guys. I know like it's literally used to be, it's supposed to be a one button thing. And I feel like we got an update and then all of a sudden it's not doing what it's supposed to do. It unbuttoned. Yeah. And it's funny because I'm not even seeing it up at the top in terms of one of the buttons in general. So, because I wanted to be able to show it between the different modes. Hold on one sec, guys. Oh, there is that, there is the widget on the desk. Oh, I bet you that's what happened, is I turned that widget on. And the desktop uh, widget. Ah, uh, it'll get you every time. Yeah, I bet you I turned that stupid widget on and then now, now it's not, now it's that desktop widget. Okay, that's probably what it was. I think you're right, is that I basically have that that desktop widget on and now the desktop widget, this Legion, because it used to be, it's supposed to be right here under Legion Edge. Yes. And then this is where it's supposed to sit. And that's the thing that I'm not seeing. And that's because <laughs> I've got this, hold on, let me see if I can turn off this widget. Yeah, because I'm staring at my window right now. Yeah, I knew there was something I'm... wrong. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you broke yours, man, but mine's working all right. Yeah, and I, right now I don't remember how to freaking even get to widgets on freaking Windows 11 because I never <laughs> use them. <laughs> Widgets are bad. I know, but I don't even know how to bring them up anymore. You know what I mean? I'm doing a really bad job of showing this off, but like, again, <laughs> I cannot, like I did one thing and now because of this, and it's like, I, it's like, I want to turn this off. Oh, click on the weather. Oh, there you go. Thank you. And I need to turn, I need to see more. There it is. No, oh, that's the only one. Stop. Okay. That's right. Okay. Widgets. And then I have this Legion one. I don't even see it on here. Oh my gosh. This is like the worst. <laughs> yeah, this is all that. See where it says all the Legion mode stuff, but because it's not showing up here, App features, message private. I want it to not show the, I want it to not show. Yep, this is not, it's like, it's not showing it. And I don't know how to fix that. Well, when in doubt, we're gonna reboot the machine and hopefully it shows up. Oh, oh, wait, no, no, it's not that, okay. Okay, we're gonna reboot it real quick and then see if it works better. <clears throat> so anyway. <clears throat> click on the, I did click on the Legion Edge, yeah. <clears throat> Function and Q, okay. Well, I'll, I'll look at that. We're gonna reboot it real quick and see if the widget shows up. Um, so yeah, uh, so anyway, the other thing too is that we also wanted to talk about is um, as well is the keyboard and showing you guys essentially everything else. We're gonna pop it off. I'm, if I can't find it, I'm just gonna start the benchmarks to show you how it basically performs in games and stuff like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade the RAM and you're actually gonna see a difference. One of the things that is kind of crazy about laptops in general is that RAM actually ends up being one of the biggest upgrades you can do to overall, not just gaming performance, but just productivity in general. Now with 16 gigs and jumping to 32 gigs, we won't know as much of the support, but when we're talking about this one specifically, the eight gigs, when you go up to 16 and then even 32, you're gonna notice a massive difference in terms of the performance there for them. <clears throat> hey, look, it showed up. Hey. This is what we're looking for right here. So this is, so you actually have this, the battery health, and then you also have this one right here, which is like their, their Legion thing. And this is what it's, this is the thing that was missing before. Weird. Yeah. And see, now it's all here. 
So that's what was, see, that, that, see, it wasn't me. There's supposed <laughs> to be all this stuff and it wasn't showing up. So it's it's not literally supposed to be that hard. And, and I think this is this does go ahead and, and illustrate something that's worth talking about. Like anytime that you get a device like this, you want to play around with it, right? Because you're going to come out, you're going to come up and <laughs> against some of these quirks like this. And, uh, and, and it's okay. Play around with it. Poke around with it. Have fun. Yeah. So it like, so again, when you do, when you do have it, here's where you can see the different thermal modes. You have balanced, you have performance, you have quiet mode. And then you don't, you know, one of the things that he was actually, what Damien was talking about is this Legion AI, which uh, is actually only going to get better with the, when you talk about mobile a, uh, AMD and mobile new Intel ones that actually have the AI cores, which will do more work. Um, right now it's more limited, but the Legion AI, which will detect gameplay with CPU and GPU, and then basically uh, uh, change it to give you what you need. This can create a little bit more loud noise, which it's saying right here. Um, so if you're gaming, I definitely would recommend turning this on. The other thing too, and one of the things I like about this, and somebody was talking about this versus the AMD option, is on the AMD mobile platforms, one thing you can do on Intel that you cannot do on AMD, and we don't know, I'm, a, I'm hoping this comes out soon, is that on Intel CPUs, you can actually tell it to use only the discrete GPU and not use the APU. So you don't have the muck switch, which means you'll see things where you'll see a delay uh, because it's choosing where it's gonna display it. That's something that's a BIOS option on Intel CPUs, but on the Intel, on the, sorry, on Intel CPUs, but on the AMD CPU versions, you actually don't get that option. And so you will get that slight delay uh, as it's, and you'll see these red, you feel like these hiccups when you're using something. So that's something that's unique about the Intel versions versus the AMD versions. I'm hoping with their 8,000 and the other ones, that'll be something they fix later. So. <clears throat> I, well, I said it, trust me, but then that's why I actually showed it to you because it's right there. This is what I was talking about. And then it also has stuff like one of the things that I, you know, we, we did this whole thing about showing you guys how to um, undervolt GPUs and stuff like that or undervolt CPUs. One of the things that Legion doesn't have, and this is unique, this is gonna be per desktop or sorry, per laptop, is you cannot actually, this does have overclock protection but it does it there is no way to turn off the undervolt protection so you can overclock this laptop which i don't recommend ever doing on a laptop we haven't ever found overclocking but undervolting actually works very well for laptops unfortunately for the legion slim uh, 7i we have yet to find a legion slim that allows us to actually undervolt the laptop so uh, but i did want to show you guys this is how you sw switch the burst and then like i said if i go to performance mode and then you go to this top down camera you can actually see that essentially the color of this disc here in the center has actually changed. And then I can go to quiet mode and now it's blue. And then if you go to balance mode, which is where I keep it most of the time, it then goes to a nice wonderful white. So one of the things that you, you one of the things I like about the hardware version of this is that it gives you this really cool indication of, yes, hey, we actually are making a difference. But let's show you some games and some performance stuff. So let's go ahead and open up Cinebench here. So you guys can essentially see how this thing actually performs. So what our score is, when you think about a 13900K versus a 13900H, what's the difference in terms of processor power? Now, we aren't running this on performance because I wanna show you under bet, uh, what, what the difference would be. So here, let's just run a 10, uh, a multi-core test. Now, my 13900K, on my desktop gets about a 40,000 point Cinebench score. So that'll give you an idea of what we're talking about in terms of the difference in terms of this versus a desktop CPU. Uh, somebody says, what is a MUX switch? A MUX switch is a physical switch that determines essentially whether you're using the integrated GPU or the discrete GPU. And the name of it is called a MUX switch, yeah. Yes, we'll run Warzone. This laptop, for people who are asking, is right here. Uh, this one is the Lenovo Legion Slim 9i. Uh, so it's a 13900H, uh, a NVIDIA RTX 4070, and it's a 2560 by 1600 is what we're showing you. And then again, we're just running a run on it. No, remind so, me later. So basically, with, without the MUX switch, it makes everything from the discrete GPU send it through the iGPU, which causes latency and small frame rate drop. Yep. 
Okay, so here you go. This will show you right here. So this is a, th again, we're looking at under half, if not more than under half, of the performance of a desktop CPU. Now, that's not to say when we, like, if we were going to run this against, like, for instance, a 7800X 3D, this is 20, this is about 6,000 points less than a 7800X 3D. So again, just showing you uh, what we're talking about in terms of, uh, in terms of perform, like desktop performance. Now, it will be different if I run it on performance mode. We're running it on balance mode. I'm just giving you an idea of what you're getting on balance mode. So let's go ahead and hit stop here, and then I'll go ahead and put it on performance as long as the thing still continues to work. Uh, Weight-wise, do you remember off the top of your head, uh, Damien? It's about four pounds. So human head. Yeah. No, that's eight pounds. Sorry. I forgot my Jerry Maguire. 4.4 4. 4 pounds. Okay, so 4.4 pounds. Okay, so here, now we're running it in performance mode. You are going to notice a difference in terms of how loud it is. I'm going to grab our thermal thing here. Uh, I don't think, I think once you, you, for the Lenovo Legion Slim, this is the best version of the Slim you can get. There is no bigger version of the Slim and it's all about, sli about form factor at this point in time. So I'm gonna put this here so you guys can hear, see how loud it is from the top. This is as loud as it gets, even when gaming. So I'm just gonna go to top here and then so you guys can see it. And I'm not gonna talk. Okay, so there you go. So at about 60 under performance mode, and then in terms of a performance, we're up to 16,000. So you see a 2,000, about a 2,000 point jump, um, a 2,000 point jump between performance mode and uh, just regular speed, uh, regular um, uh, balance mode. And that's why I have a tendency, like for most of us, you don't need to run balance because when I run this in balance now, let this go down, you'll see the, get the, temp the thing go down. And I'm going to run multi-core here. So you can actually see we've got almost a four decimal drop in terms of how loud the sound gets between the two modes. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I mean, again, this is a very, that was the thing that we were so impressed with is that the amount of performance you get for the noise, there is only one other laptop that we've played with so far. And again, that was more, that was actually closer to a, uh, it's like in between a, 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 a mobile i7 and a mobile i5 and that's the MSI the new MSI Meteor Lake one which is probably the quietest one we've played with uh, at this point in time the the quietest discrete GPU one that we've played with is the Surface um, from Microsoft and that has a 4060 in it but it is that is a bigger that is a bigger um, <laughs> that's definitely a bit of a thicker PC than uh, even this one is uh, from a performance standpoint. So anyway, that's showing you performance in terms of where it is uh, from a, uh, a desktop performance standpoint and all that sort of stuff. And then even showing you what it is from a loud standpoint. So let's see, well, and you're like, okay, cool. Roby, that's great. You know, and, and the desktop performance side is important. Uh, what about what about in gaming? Like how good is this PC at gaming? Cause that's what everybody really wants to know, right? I want to make a really quick comment on the uh, the noise level for uh, for this laptop too. Uh, one of the things that we discovered as well is not only was it super quiet, but it was probably one of the more efficient laptops when it came to dealing with heat too. Yeah. Yeah. Some of because laptops can get kind of roasty. 
Yeah, they really can. So one of the things I really like, again, using one of my favorite features here, going to top down, pop this up, and then I'll send, now we can see, there's my plug. Makes it really easy. If you have the USB the right way. Yeah, yeah, I just gotta be, that's, that I can't do anything anymore. No, no. I really need to grab my other adapter. Um, the other thing too is that it also has stuff um, as well. Uh, there's some, there's some, there's some things that are worth bringing up here. Uh, you're seeing this niatic uh, thing come up. Um, so it does have, in terms of quality and sound and stuff like that, this is all coming through here, and it has widgets, etc., to come in here, uh, in terms of telling you what you've plugged in and all that sort of stuff. Uh, if it detects it, both for HDMI devices and everything else. There is a little bit of bloatware. The one that I don't like and I don't care for is the McAfee. I wish McAfee and Norton would kind of go away. Windows Defender is, in the, for the most part, more than fine enough. I don't understand it, um, but you know, it is, it is what it is. That's the only thing I kind of wish uh, wouldn't be here anymore, so. Hey, Kurosaki asked on Twitch, is the laptop too hot to set on your lap? No, no, actually it's absolutely not. In fact, um, let me do this. Hold on one sec. Yeah, I can I can tell you from experience with the with the other variant of uh, of this laptop that we have, the i7 and 4060, that I've used this thing, gamed with it on my lap. It was not too warm to uh, to do that. Now that being said, also playing around with some of the Alienware laptops that we played around with, those can get a little bit on the. Uh, on the uh, the warm side underneath. Yeah, this one, this one, and even the MSI one that we've used um, when we've done this stuff is we don't have you you this one you can actually game on your lap. This is a true laptop in that regard. Um, and then the heat zones we'll show you here in a second. Showing you from the top down. So you can actually see where the heat zones are. So the hottest point right there is about 39 degrees Celsius right there uh, near the top of the bar. And then even if we were to look on the underside, which I can show you here in a second. So let's grab our, hold on one sec. So here is here, let's showing you. So again, giving you an idea from the, let's go to roaming. Yeah, I want to make a follow-up comment on the um, on the using the laptop on your lap. Yes, if you're going to do any type of extended gaming with a laptop on your lap, yeah, please take precautions and look where the intakes are, and um, and get a lap bar or a lap board, something that gives you a little bit of extra ventilation there. Yeah, but we can even show you here, like even on the bottom. So you can see that what it does is it has, it. you can see where the fans are basically dissipating the heat here. So which you're at like 41, but again, you have some nice room here for breathing, but even when you stick your hand against it, it's not It's not too bad, no. right? No, it's not terrible. Yeah, but again, one of the things I will say, and as, as weird as it is, is that this is where things like those fan, those like fan things that you can buy that blow air, like they don't do oh, yeah. a, a good job of making the laptop run better, but they do give it, you know, they do dissipate the heat near your lap so that way you're more comfortable when you're gaming, etc. So I will say that. So, okay, so let's go ahead and pop open a game real quick and show you guys performance why. Uh, dual e oh, you know what, guys, let's start. Okay, well, let, I'll, don't worry, we'll take the, do you guys want, okay, here, let me ask you, let's vote. Um, let's vote, do you guys wanna, well, I'm gonna take it apart. Let's just show you, let's show you some gameplay performance because the other thing too is it's always worth noting, right? Like, you guys wanna see how it games, right? Keys feel, honestly, the typing on this, the one thing that you have to get used to on typing, right? And I'll show you on the roaming camera is 
you've got, things are a little bit more squished. So if you're used to a, like a more standard keyboard, you will have to get used to the layout. Once you get used to the layout, it's fine. The keys are actually very, they're, they're not mushy. They have a great resistance to them. They've got, they've got a good amount of travel. They feel nice. They're, they're, they're just, they have a great feeling to them. And then again, the per RGB stuff for them is really, really good. But it is a quiet keyboard to use in terms of how it feels, et cetera, right? So. Agreed, yep. And again, you guys might be asking, hey, why does uh, Damien keep, because Damien actually has and uses the little brother of this laptop, which is the same form factor. Do I have, no, okay. I should have put that on, so let's do that real quick, hold on. Forgot to install MSI Afterburner. It is a compressed number pad you see on the right side of the keyboard. Yes, it is. Oh, we actually finished the 7600X. So we'll definitely, uh, we'll do that on uh, the next stream. Let's <clears throat> go. Good job, guys. Well done. So if you want to figure out, Wichter, what you can do is you can essentially uh, go to Best Buy's website, which we have a link for, and then you can, uh, you can um, uh, put in your postal system what something that weight would be. And then I'll give you an idea from the US to there. Okay, so we're just gonna install this real quick so we can. So you guys can see performance. Cosmic Jordan, what was the question, Ravager? I must have missed it. So we're gonna try, so I think on here I have, let's just see how this installs. Not all these, Steam, Settings, Library, Turn Off, Streamable. So right now we have Apex, COD, Cyberpunk, Hogwarts. I don't have Flight Sim all the way down. So these are the games we have. We also, and then I have Fortnite, I believe as well. Um, and then on the other PC, cause it only has 512 gigs, we've got Apex uh, and we've got uh, Starfield downloaded and then COD. Roby, we've got, a, we've got a quick request to see the uh, the number pad up close. When you get a chance with the Roman. Sure, sure. We can do that. While it's, let, me, let me let this finish installing and then I'll. Uh... Sweet. That's exactly where I was going there, damn. All right. Uh, hate it when you don't do that. Okay, let me go to Reva Tuner Statistics. Free dist. I hate this because it says install the Bing bar, but you need this to be able to. No, don't do this to me. When it doesn't install it, then I can't get the on screen stuff. Uh, I hate it when it, this is like a new thing that's just started happening is that where it won't install the overlay stuff. Oh, weird. Yeah. And because of that now I don't get the, I don't get the, uh, I don't get the on-screen display. And it says it like a, a more, a more Oh, you know what? Actually, hold on. That might be fine. Hold on. I forgot I gotta do this. Show an Andre stream. Okay, let me hit. Let me go to here, and then you guys can see me typing on it. 
a little bit so that we, because somebody wanted to see the, the numpad up close. There you go. I'm just gonna Rubber, make sure you, that our. You may want to move it over just a, a skosh your picture and pictures in the way of the number pad. There you go. So I'll try and use it as much as I can. GPU usage. It is a bit of a compressed keyboard, and yeah, but, that that is part of the the user experience of getting used to using a little bit of a smaller keyboard. But if you're already used to using something like a like a 13 inch, 14 inch uh, laptop, it's not a huge jump from uh, from something like that to this. What were you yeah, going to say, Mark? Oh, it was actually me. I was oh. saying it looks it looks more like it's uh, set up like a 96% layout, and then they smushed it a little more. Yeah. the But I will say, like, using the numpad, like, we've had to use it for, like, I've had to use it for, I like, I when anytime when I do reviews, like, I try to use the laptop for a good, you know, 10, 15, like, try to do it for, like, 10 hours, which I've been doing on the Prestige now, and it I, I you get used to it pretty quick. Kansas, this is the uh, Lenovo Legion Slim 7i. This is the eighth gen version of this laptop with a Core i9 and RTX 4070. I will say one of the reasons that I'm having problems now is that I've been using that other laptop, which is different. <laughs> so now I'm like, no, I don't know how to use it. Just putting in our stuff real quick. always fun because it's it's all muscle memory but once you change that memory to something else the first one's gone yeah exactly oh, oh believe you me i am uh i am playing through that right now <laughs> so i'm i'm switching from uh and if you if you saw our review on the uh the little brother of the legion slim that roby's using right now um i've been using a a, a 2014 macbook pro uh for the last 10 years okay good about. Hey, it works and uh the laptop or the uh the keyboard is a bit different on that one but it feels very similar like it's it feels the the legion feels homey like it's familiar enough where it feels uh, it feels good so unfortunately i have to download iq because i'm going to use the controller for this so i'll just not run it when i care all right, so let's get this back in so you guys can see the games now. And then we'll flip it over and show you performance metrics when you're running 16 gigs. So Michael's Monster, for people who are like really into it, um, I will say that like most of the time they'll get like a, they'll get a, a separate like a USB numpad um, versus like doing something like the one that's, but guys, I will tell you, you know, when, you know, just showing you in terms of muscle memory, if you use this like you use a normal numpad, you will get used to it. Um, but you just, you'd have to get used to it a little bit. Does a performance indicator on the top an actual button? No, well, yes, it is, sorry. So this is a button, but it, if I push it, it will turn it off. This is the power <laughs> button for the PC. So if I push this button, it doesn't change the performance with the one button. You can do it with function Q. This will actually change it too. Um, I don't know if you guys see this when I use it on here. Let's see, but you can see it. Yeah, okay, so there it is. So that that's, you can change it this way. Oops. And that's so that you can change it with function Q and then that would also change it too. So you don't have to, of course you want me to restart. Okay, well, I've got IQ everything says, ready. IQ says, we want to take over. Let yeah, us take exactly. over. Let's take over. <laughs> Please. Yes, it is also trans... Thank you, trans -aspired. It is also a fingerprint renter for additional security. Yeah, the one that... We'll, and we'll, we'll get to the MSI here a little bit later, um, but the MSI one, the power button's on the right-hand side. And guys, we are at... 
Uh, you know what? I don't have. I don't know how. What number we're on for subs right now? Yes, correct. Count to it. Uh, it shows you the status, but it does not. It is not the button that changes it. So, which you, you'll get used to it. Uh, we're 60 to 100, guys. Remember, at 100 subs, we upgrade the laptop we're giving away. We upgrade it to. Uh, we upgraded to 16 gigs of RAM. At 150, we upgraded to 32 gigs, and then at uh, at 100, at 200, we actually added one terabyte SSD. And it, that error is because I've got it plugged into a, a display that you guys can see. Okay, so now that we have this, okay, I'm all plugged into the USB there. Okay, let's open up MSI Afterburner. And then let's go ahead and pop a game open. Whoa, Speed Racer Whoa. dropping another 25. He really wants to get, he, guys, he's wanting to make sure this P, this laptop's upgraded. Okay, so let's pop it. Let's start it off with some Starfield. Thank you, Speed Racer. He's got us, he's, he's gonna be building a system here. He was really appreciative of the help. Uh, on the channel, which I don't know, did you guys, BMOC, did you guys see that from Speed Racer? That the uh, that the 011 Vision said that it re it should do push pull on the rear placement? No, I didn't see that. Yeah, so if you go to the if you go to the site, it literally says you should do a push pull on the 360 side intake. Really? Yeah, we we're like really surprised by that. Okay, so here we go. We are running a 4070. We're gonna put it at render resolution. We're just gonna, let's, it's on dynamic. Or it's, it's right now it's at custom and ultra with DLSS set to balance. So all of this is correct. Nvidia is on low latency. We wanna turn on. We're gonna turn off VSync, which I mean, actually VSync would be fine here cause it's already running at hundred. So actually VSync's fine. So in this case, we'll actually be fine cause we're not gonna hit 240 Hertz. Uh, and then we're gonna turn off motion blur cause you guys hate it. I hate it too, but I'm just gonna say, we'll leave it alone. Okay, so we're running at 130 frames per second. Let's hit continue and let's see how this runs. This is ultra uh, 1200 by, uh, sorry, uh, resolution is da, da 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 My mind just went blank. The resolution in this case is basically, we're running at 2560 by 1600. Thank you, mind, for catching up. So 60 frames per second at ultra at 2560 by 1600. It's 1440p with bonus real estate. Yep, it's basically 1440p with bonus real estate, yep. So again, we're litting at 60, which is completely playable. And again, oh, oh, this is, see, this is the part that blows my mind. So I'm gonna turn the sound down. So 60, 65 decibels when you're playing. And again, I know it's impossible, but I really wish you guys could hear. Oh, the sound's not coming through the speakers, hold on. how good the speakers are. This, so this is at 50. So now we're landing into the, going into the plant. Yeah, for, that's one of the things that we're really, that's what, one of the things that is so impressive about this laptop. And I'm just letting you guys hear speaker volume. The speaker's rich, it's got bass, it's got full sound, and at this volume, right, right there, it does blown, it does, um, it does drown out the sound of the speakers. 
Okay, so a little bit worse here. We're looking at 40 frames, 43, 44 frames per second. I don't even know where this planet is. 48. In space, of course. No, I mean, like, I, I've never been to this planet. I'm like looking, I'm like, where? I've never been here. Okay, so let's go to let's so let's see what we can do. We want to see what what's is like from a from a let's get this to 60. So we'll go to gameplay uh, display. Let's go down to high. Okay, we're now in the 40s. Forties, high fifties and sixties, okay. So it looks like probably, oh, I'm gonna turn this off. Oh, that doesn't, oh geez, guys, hold on. Okay, I need to go down to high. There we go. I just want to make sure that it was using the right frame, the right frame generation technology. Okay, so that's 50. So it looks like Pretty more sure likely if we're going to play this in terms of graphic settings. I tried to motion blur came back on. Oh, dang it. Dun, dun, dun. It always does. And people, if you like motion blur, we can't be friends. <laughs> We're keeping it on balance because that's the right thing. We could, if we wanted to turn on frame generation, not really, it's, it's cheating a little bit. So we're gonna leave it like this and see how it runs at one fit. There we go. Now we're at 60, there we go. So medium settings. I don't know what's wrong with motion blur. I like pretending I'm playing on a GT 1030 when I move around. <laughs> <laughs> So medium settings at, and then if, if I really wanted to, what you could do, do is go down to 1080p, but again, this is very playable, good good speed. I mean, like I, like I would totally be fine with playing at this. It's the, it's the stream, hold on, I know how to fix that. I don't know why it's doing that. I've noticed that too, all of a sudden I was getting weird. I don't know if it's play. Hold on, let me see if I can fix this. Hold on. Sorry for anyone if my dogs get picked up barking in the background. People start lighting off fireworks. Ooh. Okay, guys, we are nine frames away from the next. We're nine frames away from the next. Uh... Yeah, that's weird. It is framey, but it's framey coming through the. It's framey coming through the capture device. That seems better, but it is, it is not that, this does not mirror what I get. I mean, you're getting s close to 60 FPS, so. Sorry, nine, you're nine subs away from our first upgrade for that PC. I'm just gonna say nine frames, turn on frame gen, quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now. so there is Starfield. Give you an idea of what that is, again, from a performance standpoint. And again, this is going to be a good gaming laptop option, right? Is this gonna run as well as the 4090? No, but at the same time, it's just worth noting. Well, we got Riddick coming in with 10 subs. There's 10 subs from Riddick. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and drop in. Let's go ahead and play. Let's just show you like what is, if you're gonna play multiplayer COD, yeah, I don't know what's up. I, it's just a lot of people getting ready for New Year's. <clears throat> Thank you, Riddick. 
And again, for people who are curious, what are we what are we testing right now before we go to the giveaway one? The one that we're actually playing with right now is the Lenovo Legion Slim. It's a 2560 by 1600, 13900 H, an RTX 4070, one terabyte SSD, 16 gigs of RAM, an HDMI 2.0, and a 240 hertz screen. Man, that sound is just good. It really is a shame that there's no good. Yeah, there's way no to way for. That. I would the issue as a way to show you guys how good this sounds, but there really isn't a way. <laughs> the same thing with the display too. It it really truly is one of the most beautiful like non OLED displays that I think I've seen in a laptop. When did they make it so I couldn't skip past this? Uh, you can, but I don't think you can on the very first startup anymore. Yeah, Ry Riley Dahl, yes, it is. I'd say this is a little pricey for a Netflix laptop. <laughs> <laughs> if you, yeah. I don't think this is, I don't think this is a good, I think that's a, that would not be a good, this would not be a good one. You can get Chromebooks that are better at that. I read all of that painful split. Battery life is 12 hours. Um, in our real world testing, do you remember off the top of your head, da uh, Damien? Uh, as far as battery life goes? Yeah. I think if I remember correctly, in our real world testing, we got four to five hours of gaming. Yeah, gaming. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, trying, to th I'm trying to think. I know that I had I played Diablo four on um, on this one that I have here with me, and it was about three, four hours. Yeah, and that's for gaming. Obviously, video was like closer to 10. But yeah, it's uh, people are saying he writes like, I mean, again, it's one of those things. Understand, guys, that it takes a team to do all of the stuff that we do. Yeah. PC guy, yeah. I'm trying, uh, hopefully, maybe someday, I'd love to just be able to give everybody, hey, everybody's watching, gets a free laptop. That'd be awesome, but that's not true. Hey, look under your chair. Yeah, look it's under your, everybody there. look under your chair. There's dirt there. My chair's empty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, while it does this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, this one we're gonna optimize for, and we're gonna optimize for, uh, getting your best graphics. We're gonna run it to basic. Uh, patch racing, ray reconstruction's off. Now we're not doing frame generation. There's no uh, upscaling. We're gonna to go to cat. Uh, we're just gonna turn it off. Actually, we'll do DLAA, that's fine. Um, display. We're gonna to go to Unlimited, and then we're also gonna do unlimited off. There we go. Okay. Still waiting for the traders to be done here. You never see. Yeah, look under your radio. Yeah, look under your look under your thing. It's a bag of zip ties. You get cable management, and you get cable management. What, do we get the cable management or just the supplies? You just, just get the supplies. The supplies. <laughs> it's it's build your own cable management. Yeah, come on. That's not near as much fun. No, nobody's got that kind of display. I mean, that kind of time. Wow, shader preloading is still happening. Wow. It's a Sounds zero. Sounds awfully shady. Yeah, you may have to close the game and reopen it. A couple people had problems with that at uh, DreamHack. 
We're gonna have to close the game and reopen it, guys. Classic IT move. Have you tried turning it off and turning it back on again? Why would I do that? Yeah. Well, I just did. I just did earlier because <laughs> it was not working. And hey, it worked. Exactly. Carry up. Perpetual Scrub asked in uh, chat here if it runs Crisis. It does. It does run Crisis. At bare minimum, it's just, it runs Crisis actually quite well. It does also come with a zip drive, <laughs> which everybody needs. Are we talking about like the iOmega zip drive? Yeah, yeah, of course, dude. Everybody okay. needs one of those. You, you know what's really funny? Speaking about crisis. Speaking of crisis, I noticed in the um, in the Xbox PC app that uh, if you if you pull up any of the crisis games, uh, it says that a performance check is not available. <laughs> hey, congratulations, guys, on unlocking that 7600X. I Omega Jazz was it I Omega that made the Jazz Drive as well? I don't remember who made the Jazz. Was Zip and Jazz wasn't the same people? I think it was. I think it was I Omega. It was the like the dummy thick uh, uh, floppy disks. Well, that was the Zip Drive. I mean the ja yeah, yeah, that was the Zip Drive, which was the big thick ones. Yeah, yeah. But I don't remember who made the Jazz Drive. It only comes with. It actually only comes with. Um, it comes with a laser dr laser disk. Laser disk. It is iOmega. We're giving away one laptop, Lars. Yes, the iOmega Jazz. That brings me back. Oh, okay. It's still taking forever to cat. Is it gonna load? Oh, Cod, I love you. <laughs> uh, is, um, is, uh, hey, Cole, can you make this load? Cause you, don't you know, don't you play Cod? <laughs> oh yeah, she, she, she actually does have a really good point. Cod miss is going on. So their servers are probably impacted. Uh, would that impact local loading of shaders, though? It's yeah. So it's 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 network transmission. Uh... I gotta put it on my zip drive. <laughs> I don't know what the, this is. Brutal though. Well, I guess we're not going to show you how well COD runs on this great laptop. Well, we're going to give the other one away. Don't worry, guys. It's not even. It's not even close. Like it's not even. It's not even starting. Probably my son's fault. Yeah, stinkable. That's what I just did. I I just re, I just I just I literally just exited. Okay, we're gonna try one more time and then. Third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. Uh, yeah, I can can't do it. I can show you the the exhaust pins. Well, uh, I'm gonna try this one more time because I'm gonna be taking. I'm gonna I'm gonna open it. don't have anyone in another room downloading a ton of stuff, do we? No. No. There's nothing like that going on. Okay, we're we're going to show you some cod loading. Maybe, maybe. This is maybe. how cod loads on this thing. <laughs> On second thought, maybe just don't play COD. 
I mean, I haven't even reloaded it since DreamHack. Oh, hey, 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 shader preloading. It's at 4% this time. Hey, Wait, we, we have percentage? Guys. Yeah, it wasn't at zero this time. Six. It's doing stuff. It's hey. a mir it's a Christmas mir it's a cod Christmas miracle. Yay! I don't know, Spinal. This has been like the hardest stream to actually even just get started. <laughs> hey, where are we at in terms of subs, guys? I want to. Where? What are, are we close to? One fifty. Remember, guys, if you want to win the MSI laptop. Dropping extra, dropping your prime sub gets you three entries. If you're subscribed to the channel, they get you extra entries. And if we get to 200 subs, we'll give a completely upgraded. It's got 32 gigs of RAM, and we'll also put in a one. We'll we'll do a um, uh, we'll we'll put in a one terabyte uh, drive into it. So so if you want to get extra entries, but you do you do not need to be subbed to win. Anybody can win, but extra entries. Fighter Jet, thank you very much for the tier one. And then, guys, go ahead and hit the like. Head over to youtube.com slash Robotech Live. Hit that thumbs up because at 250 likes, give away a $25 new gift card. Uh, Richie, we give that away the next stream because we get to promote it. I just need to be super clear. You do not need to be subscribed to win. I don't know how many times I've had to say that, but you do need to be following on Twitch and you do need to be following on YouTube, uh, subscribed on YouTube, which is free, and you need to be a member of the Discord. So in the eternal wisdom of Arnold Schwarzenegger, do it now, come on. We're just waiting for the shaders to finally work, which we were saying, hey, thank Kaiza. Hey, let's take a look here. We'll, we're gonna get an update in terms of where we are from a, from a sub standpoint. Okay, 104. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the full one on. That'll be the easiest way to do it. So 200, that's where we're going. And then when we start going higher, we'll upgrade the, the drive. We're at 104. There you go. Eric, Troll Elrock dropping what? 20 gifted subs. Getting us closer. We're at 85% for COD. Thank you for the love from Spokane. Thank you very much. Oh, that's Chippy. Oh, though, no, you're talking about. You're talking about from uh, I buy power. RQS Divine, thank you for the tier one sub. Two months. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate all of the subs, guys. Okay, oh, hey, it's done. Okay, here we go. So let's see, this is set for, this is just set, what? Complete, okay, good, go away. Let's see how this would run. It's done. All right, here we go. So this is if you were just gonna play COD low settings, optimizing for frame rate. Remember, this is 1440p or 16, or a little QHD plus. And remember, I recorded this, all this gameplay. This is me playing right now. Request fire. 
Okay, Richie, I'll, 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 I'll switch that in there here in a second. We'll put on Cass. And there you go, 80 FPS with your low firsts at 54. We'll throw, let's let's run it one more time with. Uh, let's run it one more time with. Uh, oops, not with that. Put it with Cass. Here we go. Yeah, this is COD. Obviously, we're going to see how Fortnite and Apex run, but it's going to run very, very well. And then again, we'll do this on the laptop we're giving, we're giving away as well. Frame gen is not on. We're not using frame gen. a good question hey um uh, damien can you pull up webcam stats it's 1080p 1080p and it, get, it and it actually uh it has AI enhancement to make you look more attractive when you turn it on it's actually not true that part's not no nam upa everybody any sub gets the additional entries 1080p do you remember if it's 30 or 60 fps i'm guessing it's 30 I think it was 30, but let me confirm. He's confirming, guys. So there we go. A five frame jump right there. So about 85 if you were playing multiplayer. Five gifted subs. Thank you very much, Mudshine. Appreciate that. So there you go. So there is COD if you're going to play some multiplayer COD. Uh, if you were going to drop, I could if you guys wanted to. Let, hold on, let's just do it. So if you're gonna play campaign and you wanted to play graphics everything, let's put it on ultra. So this is what campaign for the, those who wanna play like the 10 minute campaign. Yeah, the cam, the, the webcam adds a beard to your face. That is true. I am struggling to find that information right now, but I'll keep digging. <clears throat> um, yes, that is normal for modern day laptops. Again, laptop CPUs are definitely for sure made to run at as close to thermal junction as absolutely possible. And they can do that the entire time. So yes. Okay, so this is max graphics setting COD. Like if you're gonna play campaign and you wanted to play it like beautifully with everything turned on and all the bells and whistles. Okay, that's better than I thought it was gonna be. So it looks like you're probably gonna get 60. And that one you could turn on DLSS and all that sort of stuff. This is just raw. So yeah, this is not, if you could, if you were gonna play campaign, you could put on DLSS and all that sort of stuff too. What are you talking about? This is cra crazy. This is like, I'm actually, I'm using all of the stuff that you're seeing, I'm doing with my mind. So there you go, 60 FPS, exactly. So that's on ultra settings, you can get 60 FPS. And then you with can make that better so by running DLSS. Sorry, what was that? With your mind, so super hacks? Yeah, I use super hacks because I was controlling the game with my mind. Yeah, I'm actually using real modern warfare. Okay, let's uh, let's try. I don't want to take too much longer. Uh, which of the games you guys want to see? Apex or you want to see Cyberpunk? 
You guys want to see? I'm trying to show some MP and some single player, but I want to make sure we get to the other laptop till. This, this, I, I ended up, I, you know, sometimes I think, hey, I'm going to be, it's going to be hard for me to finish and run through all this stuff. And then I learn, no, it's literally going to, yeah, I'm literally going to be able to do, I can always find, I can talk forever and show you tech forever. And then we did Starfield, yes, uh, 60 FPS on medium. Now we I don't have. I think I saw. A... Right. Oh no, there was one vote for Apex. Everything was Cyberpunk. Yeah, it feels <laughs> like you guys are like show me Cyberpunk. I want to see Minesweeper. Pong or bust. I will just here, for here. the Fortnite kitties. I will definitely pop in. I'll, I'll I'll pop Fortnite on real quick. I actually forgot. Did I download Fortnite? I don't remember. Okay, I can confirm that the camera is 30 frames per second. Okay, confirmed 30 frames per second. You know how he confirmed that? He recorded and counted the frames. I did, every last one of them. They were beautiful. Minesweeper with path tracing. Uh, guys, do you want to see Cyberpunk or Grand Theft Auto 6? I have a copy. <laughs> <laughs> Battery is 12 hours. Uh, gaming... I've done a lot of hydration, by the way, Blondie. Morning, Night City. Yesterday's body count monitoring ran out to a solid and sturdy. All right, let's uh, let's just jump in. Let's see what I have my settings in. So it's ray tracing ultra DLSS on uh, ready to go. Let's just run in and see how the game runs. Wait, where did did you guys see my MSI afterburner? Okay, so this is Ultra DLSS Cyberpunk 2077. Steven the Jeep, this is a 4070 that's in this laptop. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Ray tracing Ultra. That's some language, guys. Do you have your tactical bar of soap with you? I think you just threw it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I just threw that. my yeah, tactical bar of soap. So again, we're getting pretty much 60 FPS. This is ultra, guys. That's pretty dang good. Now, all the updates and modernization, everything they've done with this game since it released has been impressive. Oh, yeah. This game looks so... I mean, like, again, this game looks so good. And this is on... And again, this is on a notebook. I want to show you this, too. What the deuce? No, you're not. I'm going to throw this right there. <laughs> it's like you're not driving anywhere. Oh, this this chick is not this chick's no joke. Ah, I died. That girl was no joke. She like crushed me. Hey, okay, well there you go. There's there's really terrible gameplay of Cyberpunk. So that was Cyberpunk 2077 at Ultra DLSS with and then the other thing too that you also noticed. Let me just put this in there. <laughs> They said that was Blondie. 
that was, yeah, that was Blondie, yeah, exactly. But again, we were talking about volume here, going to top down. So nice, quiet, and this is the volume that'll run it. And when you're running it with speakers at where I was running it, which is right here, I mean, I already can't hear the speakers when I'm gaming. I mean, this, the uh, fans. All right, so let's show you one other thing and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll get to the giveaway laptop. So let's, uh, let's take off the bottom and show you the upgradability for this. But again, giving you an idea of the whole thing and then we'll do the same, we'll run through the same thing on the MSI. Go to top down. This yes. is one of the things that I appreciate about this laptop. Oh yes. And he he's 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 spoiling it a little bit, guys. So one of the things I, I, I love about this laptop, A, is I, I really like the whole this part right here, just how easy it is. And again, just giving you an idea in terms of the look, it's a very, very attractive laptop. It just very, very good materials here popping it over. That you wanted to see the cooling, this is the cooling of it right there. Now let me just show you what the process is to upgrade it. So I've already got a four terabyte drive inside of it because I needed to make sure I had room for games. And that four terabytes was just for the COD shaders, right? Yeah, it was just for COD. COD and uh, and pictures of my hamster. Mm. T-Man, you don't like the keyboard? So you're just gonna remove these screws Count the exhaust vents are on the sides. Oh yeah, you want to see the exhaust vents, I'll show you, here they are. And that's the thing is like, yeah, here's the exhaust on the side. You can see them right there. They are normal screws. Yeah, normal, normal, normal screws. No pentalobe screws. No antelope screws. No antelope or cantaloupe screws. Yeah, no, no, pantico, no pantaloni screws. Nope. Okay, there we go. And then again, all you gotta do, literally just, I'm gonna make this look bad now. Just like that. That's how easy it comes off. Just literally right there from the back and it just pops right off. Okay, so we have two, we have two M.2 slots. We have right now, we have a, we have a four terabyte KC3000 in it. This would normally not be, uh, normally not be filled in. And then of course we've got a one terabyte. Now, the more interesting thing is getting to the RAM. This does have Room for one more sticker RAM. I'm actually gonna show you guys that upgrade now. So I've got, and a huge shout out to Kingston for sponsoring these segments, because they send me so damn. So again, what you're gonna do, I'm just gonna lift this up. You just gotta be careful. Just like this. And then underneath here, and it is stuck. There, just like that, this lifts up. And there's some, there's a little pad underneath, little thermal pad. And it's got one place for a DDR5. So you'll take your sodium. No RAM clicks on this one. Nope, nope, just like that. Now you do, it's already ready. Just go ahead and pop it back on. Yeah, normally laptop, if you're hearing RAM clicks, 
You <laughs> probably want to check wrong. something. <laughs> yeah. you, you probably did it wrong. And then you just reclose this down. And then now we got 32 gigs in there. And then the like this has already been installed. Just repop it on. And again, dual heat pipe. Very, very impressive cooling, good fans. Again, massive battery. Uh, if you want to replace, it's just as simple as there. And then taking down taking down that screw right there. Uh, but that's all there is to it. And then again, just pop this back on. So Roby and I had a really funny conversation with this laptop when we first got uh, the little brother in. And we were trying to figure out like how easy it was to upgrade this thing. And uh, we had a little bit of a back and forth. Uh, it was Roby, Kevin and myself. And there was a uh, there was an uncertainty as to whether or not it could be upgraded. And I'm like, I think that it can be done. And Roby goes, well, here's a screwdriver. Show me what you can do. Like five minutes later, we're in, it's upgraded and we're good to go. Yeah, it's really, it was actually very fast. Um, the cooling for this, we do know, and I and I know that uh, the way the cooling is for the heat pipes, I'd have to do some significant work to show the CPU, and then I would change the thermal profile of the laptop, right? So, and I don't want to do that. Yeah, it's it's more of a laptop upgrade, not a laptop build. Uh, Syncable, uh, the problem is, yeah, it's mostly about the cooling. It's because of the form factor. So I don't think you'll ever see, there have been, there have been laptops that have desktop CPUs in them um, and very powerful ones. Um, so yes, but um, they didn't do, they didn't take off the way that everybody expected them to. Now I do wanna show you guys one other thing when I turn this on, just showing you that it did actually work. Oh, read the sign that I was so proud of reading and then like not even following along with. There we go. Okay, and then when you turn it on, I think it's delete or function, it's F2. Show you this. Oh, show them the BIOS. Yeah, the BIOS is really cool. Max RAM is 32 gigabytes. Is it 32 or 64? Uh, it's, a it's, scuff, 32. it's a scuff and vision. There you go. Check out this BIOS, guys. Very, very cool in terms of BIOS. Oh, it doesn't export. Dang it. Okay, well, this is why we have a roaming camera. So here's the BIOS, which is really, really cool. And I love their screen in general. So the BIOS in general, and then you can set the thermal mode. This is where I was telling you, you can change between dynamic graphics and discrete graphics. I, we have a tendency to run discrete. We don't run dynamic, but it does have some change to the overall, the overall performance of it. Uh, and then again, you also have this option here for more settings. And this is where you would actually find things. Now you can see we have 32 gigs of RAM. So that actually did work. So we got our 32 gigs and then in here, is where you can find things like overclock protection. So here I've set, set discrete graphics. And then here is where you can change your, uh, oh, sorry, it's, sorry, configuration. And then over here, you can change things like your hyper threading, flashback, hotkey mode, you've got always on USB, charge and battery mode, you've got flip to start, bio self-healing, and then there's the default overclocking, and then you've also got GPU overclocking, and then I think that's, I think this one does not, this one did not specifically have the uh, overclock protection. Yeah, restore to default overclocking. So this is basically setting your, this is where you could actually change to see if you can actually overclock the system. And then you also have your security stuff, which you, I mean, again, this is more for people who care, but you have your Impel Trust, all that stuff for people who also wanna run this for corporations. So very, very cool in that regard. 
We're gonna exit saving changes because we're just gonna run the discrete GPU because now that I've, I've shown you what default is and then of course, now we have 32 gigs of RAM inside of this and a four terabyte NVMe drive. So very, very easy to upgrade. Uh, and we, you know, Damien is right. When we first did, we had no idea actually how to upgrade the RAM because we didn't see where the, we thought it was all soldered and we come to find out there's one spot to drop in another uh, bit of RAM. You cannot enable Searsoft this one we have not been able to find the ability to undervolt on this particular one. So you can overclock, but you cannot undervolt. Yeah, HX and not even, not every HX can do it too. Guys, we're six likes away from, uh, from the, um, six likes away from uh, unlocking that 250, 250, uh, 200, that $25 new gift card. Yeah, overclocking a laptop, not worth it. Undervolting, absolutely. And you'd be impressed what you can do with undervolting. So, okay, so that is the Lenovo Legion Slim. Now to go to the one that we're actually gonna give away today. So this is a $2,000 laptop. We're gonna drop down to what is essentially a $1,000 laptop. And this is the one we're gonna give away today. We are now, we're getting very close to the first upgrade. Remember, if we get to 200, 200 subs, we'll upgrade it completely. So here we go. The next laptop is the MSI. This is the Cyborg 15. We haven't gotten there yet, guys. We haven't gotten there. We are now at the point we're gonna show it and show you performance and stuff like that. And then what it, you guys are gonna want it, you guys are gonna want me to upgrade it. So let me just be super clear. If we get to 150 at 16 gigs, uh, we've, we're already unlocked 16 gigs, we need to get 32 gigs, and we want to unlock the one terabyte SSD. So yeah, let's make it go. Okay, so remember, and remember if this, the way that you can help is if you want to win this lap, the, not this laptop, the MSI laptop, we're gonna show you right here. If you want to win this laptop, drop a prime sub that gets you extra entries towards winning this and makes the counter go up. And then also you will be entered to win this sub only 4070 system that's sitting back here that is custom done for uh, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse as well. So guys, this is a really great deal. We're gonna give away a thousand. All you gotta do is drop your prime sub. And then if you wanna get extra entries for this, tier one gets you three, tier two gets you five, tier three gets you 10. And then every gifted subs gets you additional entries towards winning this epic PC back here. So, <clears throat> okay. Let's take this apart and prep this for the next evolution, the, um, the MSI. So just give me a second here as I switch. Here's a fun question for you, Roby. Yeah, what's up? When you're setting up a laptop for the first time, what sure. is your order of operation? Like what, what is your go-to, like these are the first things I download? So my order of operation is always to make sure that the system is entirely set up first. So I'll turn it on, get everything set, and then I'll make sure all the Windows updates, all the Windows updates and all of the system updates are completed. Now, understand with laptops is a little bit different than desktops in the fact that the basically things like MSI Center, Lenovo's add-in, you know, add-in software, all those things also have a ton of updates like BIOS updates, et cetera. So making sure that the system is completely up to date. From there, then what I'll do is I'll actually run Steam and then I'll check the BIOS. Um, so main reason I check the BIOS is some HXs or some Hs or whatever it was, depending on the laptop I have, do allow me to do undervolting. So I will play with, and then that's when I'll mess with stability. The other thing to do is then after I've got everything set up, I'll then turn the laptop over and do any upgrades. So upgrading my RAM, upgrading my NVMe drives, all that sort of stuff first to make sure that I'm basically at whatever I want max settings. Then I verify again with Cinebench to make sure stability. Then from there, I just basically do Steam. And then I uninstall any garbage, McAfee, Norton, all that sort of stuff. I remove all that stuff. And then that's when the laptops basically go in them. What if they're sub without Prime? No, if you you do not need to be subbed to enter to win. If you have no subs, if you're not subscribed, you just get one entry towards winning. Uh, D34 done, it's not important. Again, for most people, I mean, the improvement to gaming, especially when you start doing 1440p and 4K, is pretty low because your CPU isn't used all that much. Overclocking on GPUs can have a bigger difference, but even at that point in time, most people have seen the, the improvement to frame rate on overclocked GPUs is pretty slim. 
A lot of times when people are buying more expensive GPUs, they're usually getting somewhat higher clocks, but usually you're paying for warranty and higher tier parts, meaning that the GPU itself will last longer and, high, and under higher load. But you're not, like, when you talk about the difference in frames, it's not significant. Uh, and then again, the wear and tear, I don't know, it's up to you if it's worth it. You're, we'll be doing the drawing here at the end. Some people re reset the systems too. Why is Europe painted on the box? I don't think that's Europe. I think so here's the box itself. This is what you, when you get it, this is how it will come. We will of course repack it up. So you will get this beautiful MSI Cyborg 15 box. And that's all you get, just kidding. No, you actually get the laptop inside too. So popping it open. It is and a pretty cool box though. It is a nice <gasps> box. So here is the system itself. And then inside here, you have your instructions. And then over here is where you have your power brick. The power brick is more standard than uh, what we had on the Lenovo. It's something I didn't show all that well in the Lenovo fail on that part, but there you go. And then, okay, and then the laptop itself, I'm gonna put this off to the side. I'm actually really, the design for this laptop is actually pretty cool. I haven't seen this one in person, so I'm so, eager to see what it looks like. Ooh, okay, so you do have some fingerprinty so stuff, but the thing that's actually more impressive is that the casing itself is actually see-through. So the entire thing is like a yeah. green kind of see-through. Um, it says MSI True Gaming in terms of it. In terms of porting, uh, you have a full, which I, this makes me happy, a full RJ45. You've got HDMI on the side, USB-C, and an, a USB-A. And then on the other side, you have another USB-A and then you have a headphone jack. No connectivity in the back. In terms of your thermals, it's in and then out of the sides uh, and the back left for your thing. And then of course, really kind of nothing at the front. And then your keyboard. Oh, here's the Lenovo one, by the way. As you can see, it's a little bit more interesting. Okay, so we'll plug this in on the side back here. That transparency on that laptop has given me like mid mid to early 2000s uh, peripherals vibes. It's like, actually, yeah. coo it's cooler than I thought. Like when I first, I was like, I, it's not that I wasn't into it, but when I finally saw it, I was like, oh, actually, this is kind of neat. And it's got a nice design to it. Okay, so there's everything it's on the side. It's like when you got an aftermarket Xbox controller. Yeah. You know, it's kind of got that transparency to it. The Sorry, golden gonna fix one thing. of peripherals. Yeah, elusive shadow. The see-through uh, N64. I have a I have a couple cables that are into it into it. My HDMI cable just stopped working, so I had to rewire it up in an emergency situation this morning. I mean, sorry, today, before I started the stream, and now I've accidentally wired cables in that don't belong to be <laughs> wired in into the bundle. Oh, no. So I'm undoing them so they're not gonna cause pressure. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool, let's plug that in. Oh, of Mike course. Levi, I was thinking the same thing myself too. That it kind of gives me early early iMac vibes as well. Let's grab the actual power cable. It has to use. So it, one thing is it does not use a standard power cable into the brick. Something to be really? aware of, which because I just found that out. So I want to make sure I notice that stuff too. So it does require one of those standard funky three pin ones. Okay. Ah, uh, one of those guys. So when I had to, so I had to, the one that I had pre-wired for the Legion. Unfortunately, well not work for the MSI. Not working for that one. Okay, so there it is all plugged in. 
And then you also have, so here's your keyboard for this one, for the one we're giving away. As you can see also, Ooh. a little bit of a scrunched numpad. You have a WASD key. And it's got that Sam Raimi Spider-Man font on the keyboard too. Yeah. More, it's like, and MSI is like bigger into that. Like it's, it's funny, that's like, I've seen that on a lot of MSIs in terms of the keyboard itself. Um, it's got, uh, it is obviously we have, just to remind people, what we have inside of it is we have the 12650 and an RTX 4060. It's got eight gigs of RAM, a one terabyte SSD, uh, sorry, a 512 gig. Now remember, if we get the subs today, we will upgrade the RAM and the storage. So that way the one that we give away will be better than what you're seeing here. We'll put a one terabyte SSD in it. Sorry, one terabyte NVMe and 32 gigs of RAM. If we get to 250, then we'll actually give away two terabyte SSD inside of it, which we will then when you ship them. So that's what you're doing. <clears throat> so yeah, here is, again, showing you the top down here. Uh, so this is what the keyboard looks like. Again, a little bit thicker in terms of the overall uh, thickness of the laptop than the other one. And the screen is still a little bit uh, it's not, it's, it's obviously not as nice as the one that we showed in there, but again, thousand dollars. So a big difference in terms of price, in terms of material. Sarge, thank you very much for the gifted stuff. Okay. So we'll turn it on and that's the backlit right there. So it's like a blue. I don't actually know. We'll try and change it. See if we can change the colors. You do have, this is much more gamer focused in terms of the keyboard itself. WASD is a different color. Uh, then you have your, your, basically your arrow keys. And then these are more peripheral they're not it's not it's not meant as a uh as a work replacement though i mean honestly it wouldn't be terribly uh, out of place uh, at an office etc <clears throat> it's not thick it's robust yeah all right so here we go so then showing it in the inside the one thing I will say, and one of the things that I absolutely want to do, and we're going to show you the upgrade here, is that eight gigs uh, from a from a from a production from a productivity standpoint. And again, uh, uh, Thomas isn't here, but upgrading to 32 gigs of RAM on a PC like this, I mean, like, what was the? I don't know, Thomas, if you're in the chat, but going to 32 gigs, it's like 60 bucks, right? So going to 32 gigs and replacing the sodiums is gonna make a, diff a massive difference in performance. So even when we do things like click things open and then you open a second application and then you start messing around, you will start to notice over time, especially when you're using a lot of applications and stuff like that, that it will start to slow down. We, you will see a big jump in performance when we go from eight to 16 gigs, so yes. Yeah. So here we go right here. Let's just show you, let's pop in Cinebench. Need to download it. I will say that having the art, having the, the, the connection though, is such a huge standpoint, a, a huge thing. And I will say the, the keys, the keys versus the Lenovo are a lot more standard in terms of their size. Like the Lenovo changes some things in terms of the formatting for the actual uh, main key, but this one doesn't, so it just feels a little bit more natural in terms of just jumping from a like a, a desktop gaming computer to a laptop feels a little bit more natural. Okay, so opening up MSI Center. So you can look at the different things it's got here. So you have your different features. So here's, it's just showing you the different scenarios. This is similar to what you saw on the, uh, what you saw on the um, Lenovo, right? So they have their gaming mode, so system performance, and then you can turn on your gaming mode here. You can turn that off, and then it'll it'll basically allow you to do your system, your true color and all that sort of stuff. So here's your user scenarios. This is where you, and we will say, one thing that is actually very impressive and we've, we've tested this heavily with their new Prestige 16 AI, is that Smart Auto, their AI Smart so Auto good. is actually very good. You can still do what you did on the Legion between Extreme Performance, Balanced, and Silent, uh, and then the Super Battery Mode. The Smart Auto, in terms of just performance in general for gaming, is actually, we've seen the best performance from a performance standpoint on Smart AI. And then you also have your general settings here, which is stuff like your Windows key, 
your crosshair display, which can just show up on your screen, your HDR, whether you want to turn that on, USB power sleep and all that sort of stuff. So it's actually pretty cool. And then even change with the closed lid action. And then all this stuff is done inside of MSI Center. The other thing too is that under support, you have your live update, which is something I've actually really appreciated about MSI. So if you do have updates to your hardware, et cetera, this is where you, you would go and grab your drivers and then scan and all that stuff, which is actually pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up and just see how the Cinebench runs. This is a 12650. So again, closer to, uh, this is a, this is a lower end, this is an Intel Core i7, so a 12th gen i7. Still has DDR5 RAM, all that sort of stuff. Uh, we'll do the giveaway, the laptop giveaway at the very end and you'll know how. So again, this is where I'm talking about. This is where, you notice how I'm hitting open? This is where eight gigs of RAM actually makes a little bit of an, a little bit of an impact in terms of just how quickly things open versus how quickly things were opening on the Lenovo. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and just run it. And this does have a 4060. Again, that's one of the things that's very impressive is the combination of 4060 and 12600. And then you also have a 1920 by 1080 uh, display. So again, great resolution for this combination of hardware. Yeah, so this is something we brought up in our laptop buyer's guide was when you're looking at a laptop, you want to look at that balance between things like your your GPU and CPU and, and, and having those make sense with your resolution and your refresh rate and the ratio of your screen as well. Um, somebody asked, RAM, 64 gigs is max, yes. And then 40, the Fatal Air, in 40 series, you can think of it as like a step down. So it's a it's equivalent of like a 4060 40, 60 desktop. Okay, and again, here you go. This is how loud it is. Now, the one thing I will say, guys, um, the one thing I will say versus the Lenovo, and this is just has to do with airflow, like you are hearing the volume, the loudness of airflow, but the pitch of the airflow is actually a little bit higher. Um, so it is a little bit more noticeable comparatively to what we noticed on the Legion. Yeah, but still not loud comparatively. If I was to bring one of my 4090 laptops in here, like my Falcon DRX, or like my M18, you, they are so loud. Yeah, we are gonna, Rutech, we are gonna upgrade it so you guys can see. Uh, Wiz, oh, it's max is 64. And then in terms of power, we were at 16,000 on the 13th gen, so 12,385, sorry. So 12,385 in terms of power, so about 4,000 points, about 4,000 points less than our, our 13900H, which isn't bad for a mobile. So again, you're not getting a gutless system at all in terms of if you wanted to do anything from a desktop standpoint, et cetera, this, I mean, sorry, anything from a productivity standpoint, this still can do a lot being a 13.7, uh, sorry, a seventh gen, uh, uh, seventh gen Intel CPU, so. Oh, I will definitely upgrade the RAM. Uh, Weight-wise, uh, Damien, can you check weight real quick? Yep, I can. All right, so one of the things that, well, absolutely, I hope that we get to do with the upgrades, and again, it's all dependent on subs, guys, is you can see we filled up the drive really, really quick. 454 gig, uh, 200, sorry, 512 gig drive is not very big. The one thing that is kind of a bummer about this particular laptop is it only has a single M.2 slot. So when we do upgrade the thing, which I can't show you, we'd have to essentially clone the drive and we would clone the drive to a one terabyte or two terabyte drive if we were gonna go in there. Again, I have more games installed, which we're gonna show you so we can show performance. And we'll show you that upgrading here in a minute just to show how much more snappy it's gonna be. But let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and keep going here. 4.37 pounds. So a little bit heavier than the Legion. 
Uh, slightly less. Oh, I thought you said it was four pounds for the Legion. Sorry, then it's it's, it's less. So it's four. So it's four point four. Okay, for the so Legion. it's it's about the same weight. Which the Legion is not bad. We like that one. Yeah. Yeah. How do I add more RAM without buying on my RAM on my PC? So there's not a lot RAM. of bloat. Um, I will say the only bloat we did notice is Norton. Um, I mean, even if we did go to add remove, let's take a look here real quick. So uh, the Apex I installed, but in terms of most of the stuff that we have in here, uh, we have Office, which is pretty small. OneDrive, which you can get rid of, that's 300 megs. Mixed Reality Portal, which is eight gigs. Uh, you need MSI Center. Um, Norton, which is gonna be pretty big, you know, okay. Everything else is NVIDIA. So there isn't a lot of bloatware stuff that's actually on I, this. We just have the normal game stuff on here right now. I do love how you referred to uh, Apex as bloatware. <laughs> well, it is. I did put it on there. <laughs> we are gonna install IQ real quick just to make sure we have our controller. Yes, Norton is bloatware. I just don't know how big it is. It didn't say. Because they really don't want you to know how bloated it is. Remember, guys, if you want to get extra entries towards winning this, we're five away from upgrading all the RAM. So if we can get the last five subs, <laughs> let's get five subs, because then we'll put in the RAM, right? That's what we need. Let's get five subs, put in the RAM, then we'll have 32 gigs. The only thing left that we'll have to do is just upgrade the NVMe then. That guy Zeistin is funny, he is. Did I install it? Don't give him the big head now. Yeah, don't, yeah, that's not a good idea. Hey, DMAT dropping it. There we go, guys. We're getting close. Oh. Oh, I've already got... Okay, nah. Yes, I want to cancel. Do not create a shortcut. There we go. One more. William Isu dropping Prime. We're close. Matt Black, one. Okay, one more sub, and then we'll have we'll upgrade the RAM, and the RAM will stay in the system. 32 gigs of RAM. That uh, that scuff Envision you have there, Roby, is that the regular Envision or the Envision Pro? It's the Envision Pro. That's correct. Yes. There we are. Okay, now we're on our way to upgrading the drive. So if we get, the, but at least now we we for sure have the RAM. So we're now going to give this laptop away with 32 gigs of RAM. Miguel Migo Tech, thank you very much for that. It still blows my mind that that only has eight gigs of RAM in it. Well, it's about to have more. But we wanted to yeah. show what it was baseline. So if somebody was interested afterwards and we're like, hey, is it still worth getting? Well, we're going to show you performance. Okay, so let's pop it open. Go to library. Library. Steam settings. Yeah, it's almost criminal to market a gaming laptop now with not at least 16. But again, like upgrading it. Like I, I, you can, like we've got links down below. So if you were to pick this up, there's a link just to add one more eight gig stick. Um, and it's yeah. not expensive at all. I, I was going to say, to be fair, with it, with the laptop being on sale for what it is right now, I mean, it really is a great entry point laptop. Yep. If somebody, if somebody was like a, like a college student or you know somebody that was splitting their time between, you know, doing some work mobily and you know and wanting to do some gaming on the go, like it really isn't a bad system for that. So on, not on sale, it's, it's 1100 on sale right now, it's 800. And it's, uh, and no, you can do up to 64 gigs. And 800, it's definitely hitting above its price oh, yeah. point there. What it's, yeah. this is a great laptop for $800. Yeah. 
It only takes you get you can watch a YouTube video and swap the RAM out. It takes about 15 minutes. You're gonna see. It. Yeah, we're gonna show you here. It's a little bit harder to take apart than the Legion, but yes, we're gonna show that. Now, since uh, since there were questions on the Legion with this, I'm gonna go ahead and answer it before it's asked. The webcam in it is a 720p HD webcam. For this one. For that one. Yep. Yeah. We'll be doing it at the very end, guys. My favorite single player games at the moment is uh, Starfield, really enjoying. Uh, I'm also really enjoying uh, Pandora. I'm also enjoying, uh, I'm also playing um, Assassin's Creed um, as well. Um, and then I'm also playing through Ace Combat again, because I never finished it. Um, and then for, for um, multiplayer, I'm actually getting back into Hearthstone. Red Dead is amazing too. And Cyberpunk also here. You. That's a problem. Is there's so many games to play? Uh, Levi, Levi Brian Himes. Whoever wins this, it will not come with these games installed. This is his library. No, this is my library. Yeah. <laughs> you will need to buy these games. Rob, you got a question about does it have a second SSD M2 slot? No, it does not. Only one. That's one of the drawbacks I will say of this laptop is that it doesn't. The second M.2 slot, which is a 22.40, yeah, 22.60, sorry, 22.60 is for Wi-Fi and it's being used for that. I mean, I suppose if you didn't want Wi-Fi, you could uh, you could add more storage there. Yeah, you would lose your. Uh, <laughs> it would be a USB dongle. It wouldn't be great. Yeah, you could use a USB dongle. Uh, or you could just always use it wired, which is, yeah, <laughs> it's got the RJ45. Yeah. And I have, and you're right. Somebody's saying it could be, it actually might be key different. Most of the time, they, those M.2 slots do work. I don't know. I haven't tested. There is a chance that you could replace that, take it out and it not work. So that is that it could be key different. Yeah, but I you can most... get because of the because of like things like the Steam Deck, etc. You can put one terabyte. There are one terabyte and two terabyte drives at twenty two sixty. No, this is where normal. eight gigs of RAM is. Why I tell people to get sixteen gig or upgrade to sixteen gigs. This right here. Uh, you guys, we don't have a dad joke. Somebody didn't pay for it. You got to use the channel points. There, you can do small format. There are small format NVMe drives that will fit in those slots. DDR5. There, I, pay, I paid for them to get their dad joke. Oh, did you do one? Yep. All right, here we go. Dad joke time. There it goes. Today, my son asked, can I have a bookmark? And I burst into tears. 11 years old, and he still doesn't know my name is Brian. And honestly, you can get a single full terabyte drive now for under $200. Yeah, you could. Did you hear that? My son came up to me and said, hey, can I have a bookmark? And I started burst into tears because I was like, dang, my son still doesn't know my name is Justin. <laughs> 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 Okay, that one's actually funny. <laughs> now, one of the things I, I do want to show you guys is that what you're going to see, and I don't have MSI Afterburner installed, is again, giving you, I want you to get the experience that what eight gigs of RAM does, and then when we go up to 32 gigs of RAM, how much better this experience is going to be. And you will even notice difference in performance for the game as well. No, now Starfield has to load the shaders. That this one isn't so bad. Yeah, this one's normally pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah.
Oh, that would help if I actually plugged this in. Oh, no wonder this didn't work. <laughs> do you have the USB port to plug it into? Yeah, I do. There. I just forgot, and now I'm pretty sure that um, IQ is going to be like, yeah, we need to restart. <laughs> Hold on, let me just do this real quick. Oh, this is going to take so long to launch. Okay, here we go. Restart. I knew, I knew it. I want a, I want a gaming laptop to game on. Use Blender on plus edit videos under 2400. So Tanme, the one that we just showed is a great option for that. That again, the thing is, is that if you wanted to go something a little bit higher, you're gonna get more noise. But this one that we just showed, the Lenovo Legion that we were showing right there would be a good one if you wanted to do video editing, Blender, it's got a 4070, um, and uh, is just at 2000. With, and then when you add tax, 2200. Yeah, 7600X is next stream. It'll be uh, next week. Hey, let's go ahead and install MSI Afterburner. Uh, dude, we have been streaming since 420. It has been two hours and 20 minutes. Ghani, oh, yeah, I'm you're... sorry. The thing is, you're, dude, the thing is, is like, if, if, <laughs> the stream is about, learning it's not just if you're here just for the giveaway just go that's not the thing is is this is for people to enjoy and get that like going in there so please don't get mad about how long a stream is going to be because the stream is the whole point <laughs> learn how things are done see what's done interact with the community enjoy Um, so it, yes, it, it had to restart. The main reason it had to restart was specifically just because of, of the, um, it had to install the new stuff for the controller. It was just that Corsair wanted another computer in its ranks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> One of us. One of us. <laughs> Can't believe you're gonna make me watch this stream to win a laptop, man. It's so, so garbage. <laughs> so selfish, gosh. Uh, opinion? No, I haven't had any issues installing. I haven't had any issues installing um, uh, seventy hundred X three D systems. No. I know. I know. Most of you guys are here really for Blondie. I'm glad, uh, Manderski, thank you very much. I appreciate that, dude. Yeah, I came here for Justin State for Blondie. <laughs> Thanks, b <-Mock. laughs> So, Akashi, it, it, I will say there are laptops that handle VR okay. Um, you're looking, you're, most of the time you're going to desktop replacements at that point in time. So you're looking at stuff with like mobile 4090s. Um, when, if you're going to talk into that. And then again, at that point in time, I don't, I, unless you're doing traveling, then the, you could find like the razor blade might be a good option there where you still get the, uh, you still get the power of a 4090. It's slightly, it's slightly neutered given the form factor, but, um, you could, you can, uh, play VR with that. Thanks blade device. Poor Blondie and her. <laughs> she's just got. She's got. She's got it. A, she's got this whole thing that everybody's like. She's a team killer. Um. 
Weixing, we've uh, we just got finished testing the uh, the all AMD system. So again, it really comes down to when you want it when it's it's what applications you're going to use them in. Um, AMD's been kicking butt in the mobile space, to be honest. Like really, um, and so uh, and their their new mobile chips, especially the ones that are coming out later, um, are are pretty dang impressive. So. I think in either case, both of those are going to be great. Intel is always a solid option as well. That's right. Dude, I am all over that Blade device or Blade Office, whichever one you want to go for. Okay, so we're going to do GPU one here, guys. The only thing we're going to do here is just make sure that we have everything set here. So I want to make sure we're really clear on what we're running here when And again, the keyboard, I'm as I use it and stuff like that, pretty good. Like it's it's I mean the the keys are nice, they have good travel. They don't feel chinzy. Nothing about the laptop feels chinzy. That's good to know. Yeah, that that's one. Usually, when you start getting to certain ones, you're like, uh, "Does it feel cheap?" No, it doesn't have that. It dev it definitely doesn't feel cheap. And I know that thing with things like keyboards that that can be a that that can be one of those really like personal preference things. I, for me, like that's where going into a store and being able to actually get hands on a device can be really, really good. So you can get a feel for them in person. I think it's a 12650, right? I think I'm just making sure I'm correct. I'm just gonna look real quick at the stats. Uh, 12650 H. Oh, you're good. I was right. Oops. And there it is right there. Just to remind you guys one more time what we have so you can see it. That's not it. Okay, good job on that. That is a very nice laptop though. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I had it. I'm, I'm gonna have to go make, I don't know why it was, oh, cause it's showing the wrong one. I'll fix that here in a minute, guys. Whoops, whoa. When you just start typing stuff wrong. Go. I don't think I applied the other one. Okay, good. We're just gonna get this set up, guys, and we'll, we'll the, this is kind of the last little setup things. And hopefully you guys are getting a lot of questions answered about laptops, because I know this is something we don't really we don't really answer all the time. So hopefully you're getting some good information here. And uh, now they know how to set up MSI Afterburner too. Yeah, exactly. Which this is not a bad thing to do. This is like a really good way to just, one of the things I like to do, and I always tell people, if you want to know if like your t PC's running at tip top, tip top shape, is run it when you first get it and then go and check it out a little bit later, especially games that are a little bit older, like Tomb Raider, etc. that don't get updated. And then you can see stuff like, oh, if I need to clean my PC, what's going on thermally, all that sort of stuff. It gives you a nice baseline for where your PC was running before. Um, Uh, you can't really turn an old laptop into a PC. Uh, they use very different parts. Oh yeah, now we have it all. Let's pop this open and show this one now. There's a question about how often one should clean a laptop. Laptops are actually pretty easy to clean. They're pretty dust resistant. Um, inside the case is very positive pressure situation. Um, it's one of those things that for, because of how much air is pushed through and then the air itself creates almost like a shield, um, that unless you're doing something like, like 
using a laptop in the sand or it, with a place with a lot of cat hair, then you might pull, you might be pulling stuff in. But for the most part, um, you sh it should keep itself pretty clean. But I'd say it's something that if you want to pop the top, pop the back off and just blow it off with one of those portable dusters once a year, it's not a bad idea. Throwing them in the dishwasher, that is a really good idea, Flux Digital. You should sh show, you do that first and let me know how it goes. And then dry them in the microwave. Yeah, microwave, yeah. Are you guys going to loan him the laptop to do this with, or? <laughs> oh, no, he's got to do it on his own. Oh, okay. Okay, where Preferably is Preferably our... the gateway laptop. Yeah, <laughs> the gateway one. <laughs> but only if they still have the cow box. And we need a video tutorial, yes. I can say I used a laptop for a year in Iraq, and I didn't have any problems. I've never had to dust it out the whole time I was there. And you had plenty of sand. Plenty. Okay, so it's definitely there. Yes, Blade of Ice, that definitely explains a lot. Okay, let's just try it. We got it on, this is saying low. We're gonna put it, let's put it on medium. Turn Multra, oh, motion blur on high, just kidding. DLSS set to balance, we're gonna turn motion blur off. I was just, you guys didn't even react. And then we're gonna put, oh, DLSS on quality. We'll leave everything else on, okay. Let's see how this goes. No, no one reacted. We were waiting to see if you remembered. That way we didn't have to yell at you. Hey, thanks, Najia. I was about to just close the Twitch house. Oh, dang it, I left freaking <laughs> V-Sync on, which is fine, it's 240 hertz. 144. Well, sorry, 144, yep. I will say, play, so far loudness-wise, actually been pretty good. Let me change my audio settings here. Definitely cannot wait to put more RAM in this. But we is that test eight gig? It's is that eight, eight gig, gig hurting you a little it's bit? Killing me. <laughs> I would definitely <laughs> recommend if you buy this PC, buy this laptop after we're done. You're like, this is really cool. Put eight, put more RAM in it. I love how chat has just completely run away with the how to clean a laptop bit. I'm seeing everything from like blowing vape smoke into it to drying it out with a fire. You love to see it. Okay, I'm yeah, I'm, I, speakers. I, I'm a little concerned though when they say to use a campfire to heat it up, plus it gets a little smoky taste. <laughs> hey, look, I mean, it's dinner and a show. always make my s'mores on the laptops. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny whether Roby and I have talked about doing a video on turning laptops into an air fryer situation. Yeah, we, I really want to do that. We really need to do that. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw, like there was a, there was an article that just came out uh, in Alabama a Tesla Model 3 got in a car accident and then caught fire. And it took, I think it was like, I don't remember if it was 15,000 gallons or 35,000 gallons of water to put it out, which an Good average night. car fire costs 500 gallons. So I'm just saying, if we start cooking, dude, there's a lot of opportunity here. So. <laughs> so if we start another Robitech channel, 
that's what it's going to be. All right, here we go. This is RAM. I'm telling you right now, our biggest issue right here, I've, I can't, but I need to show you, this is RAM. Oh, that hurts. This is an actual slideshow. Yeah, and it's not the, it's, 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 it's RAM. Oh, the video's not frozen. They're uh, ravaged. That's that's the game. The, the game is literally just struggling with eight gigs. Look at his zero <laughs> FPS up there. <laughs> it's, just, it's wheezing right now. It will get there. It's just the RAM has to load. There you go. So yeah, see, like in terms of once you get in, oh, yeah. we're looking at 40 frames per second, which that ain't bad for a sub $1,000. But RAM is going to make a massive difference on this. Okay, okay. I, I'm just gonna show. I wanted to show you. I'm gonna. I got it. I'm just gonna. We're gonna upgrade the RAM. He's like, I can't do this. I, I can't do can't. this. I, <laughs> I just want to show you guys. You saw the experience with less than eight with eight gigs. Let's throw the 32 gigs in. <laughs> Bro, let the RAM cook. <laughs> let the RAM cook. <laughs> I should have warmed it. You guys are awesome. I should, guys. Uh, if somebody wants to send me a microwave so I can warm this up, that'd be great. <laughs> I'll DoorDash you one. You could DoorDash me a microwave. I need to warm up this laptop. Let me uh, let me call the fire department real fast. <laughs> and that's why I will tell you guys one of the things. And if you watch our laptop buyer guide, which is actually doing very good video and it's very being very well received, it's worth a watch. One of the things that we say, upgrade, checking into the upgradability of a laptop is very important because the thing is, is if this, if this is the reason we were down to show this is that for 800 bucks, this laptop punches above its weight class, but it does need to be upgraded. You know what I mean? And again, ra buying RAM, and we have links down below. I don't, is Thomas in the chat? I don't know if he's here. I but, saw him here earlier. Yeah, uh, Tom's floating around. I can ping him elsewhere as okay. well. Okay, so we're gonna shut this down and we're gonna upgrade it. Okay, so we're gonna go to, sh we're gonna shut it down and now we're gonna make it better for the giveaway. And remember guys, yeah, the trick, this, this was a little bit harder than what we saw on the other one, but you guys will see, we're gonna get it done. And I did There's it with Tom. my hands already. And there's there's Tom for your question. Oh, Kobe. yeah, Tom. What is the uh, what was the cost for the two RAM sticks at Best Buy? Still on. And while you're at it, what's the average land speed of a Sparrow? Yeah, is that an African or European? That's a good question. I I, I don't know that. Forty five nine. Yeah, so forty five ninety nine. All right, so here we go. So we're gonna take our little plastic spreader here things. And you do not need to do this. I'm just, it's a little easier if you use it this way, but I did it with my hands on my own and I'll show you where to do it so you can do the same thing. It's in the front corner is what I did, but it's just a little easier when you have the little spreader things. And if you have guitar picks too, they work. Guitar picks also work really well. So do credit cards. Yeah, credit like cards. What else do you guys think works? Let's get let's get chat on that. Ch chat's like or really knives. old crackers, really Hammer small pieces chisel. of paper, Lego shovels. <laughs> <laughs> campfire. <That one. laughs> I mean, the campfire is going to do something. J jail shivs, butter knives, <laughs> jail shivs. <laughs> wow. Not that kind of show. <laughs> wow. It is now. <laughs> jail shivs. Hammer, old Triscuit. <laughs> Wet toilet paper. No, some of that stuff does not work. The toilet paper roll may work. Chisel. 
acrylic nails. Um, I will say there is something here where it says, uh, if you do this, it'll void the warranty. Uh, that is illegal in the United States. Um, so it does not void the warranty. They are not allowed to do that. So right to repair. It's right to repair, guys. So you do not, they cannot void the warranty by not allowing you to take the laptop apart. There was another laptop that we saw recently that did that. I'm trying to remember which one it was. I want to say it was one of the MSI laptops That's as well. Right. I it think, went... I, in, again, it, I don't know why they're doing that. Okay, so in the front corner is what I did, and I was able to basically get it apart. Let me just make sure I really did get all the screws out. That one's stuck under the thing. So in the front corner is what I did. Is one of the best places in just popping this under here. And then takes some strength, but yeah, it comes off pretty easily. It is nice that it's semi-transparent too, so you can kind of see where the clips are. Yeah. That there we really go. Do, that really does give me the uh, old iMac vibes. So there it is, there's your cooling. So you have your single M.2. You do, this is, oh, no, you know what? No. No, that might be wired different. That may not work. So, but this is your only M.2. It is a Gen 4 NVMe. When we, if we get to the 200, so if we get to 200, what we'll do is we'll clone this to a one terabyte. So you'll come with a one terabyte. If we get to 250, we'll clone this and it'll be a two terabyte in here. For your, 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 uh, SODIMs, they're right underneath this box. There we go. It's been get a hot minute since I've seen a blue PCB. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna grab 32 gigs of DDR5. Thanks to our team over at Kingston who sponsors all of our all of our laptop upgrade stuff. I miss all the colored PCBs. They really need to do a nice red one for AMD. Okay, so we're gonna grab our two 32 gigs. If Faith makes a way, it does not have a second hard drive bay. No. Neither, neither NVMe nor SATA. Which is kind of a bummer. That's that's the one thing, one drawback of this particular laptop. And then you just repop it back on. There's little guides on the left and the right. That is very interesting to see that those aren't stacked. Oh, I've seen them both. I've seen it like in all my things. Yeah, I've seen it both ways. Okay, so that's okay. all there is to it. And again, there we go. So we've now upgraded to 32 gigs. And you guys have earned this, so this 32 gigs will stay in there. When we ship it. Repop this back on. There we go. And then just screw it down. Whoa, I almost lost that screw. That would have sucked. Yeah. There we go. Had to take us back to the power build days there. Yeah, these ones are so small. The one thing that's also nice is they do have thread lock in them, so they won't, they don't shake loose, which is nice. That's the little blue paint that you see on here. It's called thread locker. So it keeps the screw in place. 
Definitely not something I suggest doing over and over again. You know what I mean? Like that's why when I buy a laptop, I find out if it's upgradable and then just make sure I have all of it so I can just do whatever I'm gonna do once. Okay, so now we have a 32 gig version. Make sure it's all sealed all the way across. There we go. Perfect, okay. 32 gig version, all ready to go. Steam Deck asks, gaming laptop or gaming handhelds? So again, they fit a different purpose. Understand a Steam Deck is a Steam Deck, and I use both, right? There are things, and I will say that if you want to get rid of the fingerprints, this is the way to do it, is just using a microfiber cloth. You get it nice and clean there. Um, Steam Deck works very well, but there are games that you cannot play on a gaming handheld, right? And then there are, like, and again, there are also games that, you know, when you want to play at a higher resolution, etc. You, that's where you might have something like a, a laptop as well. <clears throat> okay. And laptops do weigh more than desktops. I mean, gaming desktop. I'm not, I use both. I'm just saying they, they both are independent. They're, it's not either or, it's, it's kind of when you use one or the other. It's the right tool for the right job. Okay, laptop is booted. We now have faster RAM in there, 32 gigs. I need some major Nelson gloves. Shaquandrag, I have no idea. That is a really impossible question. <laughs> okay, ooh, already faster. Okay, so let's just take a look here. Task manager. Oh, so snappy. Um, so if we go to here, look at our memory. We now have 32 gigs at 4,800, five. So we got 32 gigs of RAM. Let's open up Steam. Oh, it's just, it's so much snappier. <laughs> it just works. It's a miracle. It's, this is like the best thing you can do for a desktop. I mean, it's just, it's just so much better. Okay, so let's load up Starfield, which took like three hours. Oop, let's run. MSI Afterburner, which also, look, I can just do it. It doesn't pause. It's more faster. And look, it already launched. <laughs> hey, this is the same go. computer. More faster, more better. It's more better. The magic of more RAM. Okay, so let's check it out now. Look at that. I mean, it's just so much better. Ram goes zoom, zoom. And we're in the game now. And look, it's not, look, we're, uh, look, we've actually gained <laughs> slightly in frames per second too. <laughs> God, this is great. I mean, this makes this, for 50 bucks, we made this $800 laptop run so, like, it's, look at how good it is. Well, this is definitely better than your Xbox, just because you're, I mean, this thing is more powerful than you. Okay, let's jump out into space. And now we're in space, running in a nice and it, it's it's V-sync, but again, 60 FPS in space at 1080p on the 4060 mobile at all, at medium settings. Very very playable. 
<clears throat> Manders, the, the RAM didn't need to be warmed in the microwave because he had a little heated blanket Laptops off to the side. Laptops don't have XMP. No, they're, they, the, settings on the, the settings on the SODIMs are the settings it has. And this laptop is like a whole different laptop now with um, the additional RAM. Did I lose you guys? Are you guys there? No, nope, we're here. here. Unless he's not here. What happened? Okay, something happened. I lost Discord right for some reason. He must Hello? have lost us. He lost us. All right, yeah, you guys stopped talking. What happened? I didn't do anything. Oh, you broke it. I must Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I lose? Hold on. Let me make sure. I might have lost. Is this dead? Uh oh. No. No. He forgot to charge That's it. That's fine. <gasps> no. Weird. I don't hear anything. And the stream can't even see the back and forth banter because our faces, <laughs> our names aren't even on the screen. I lost my marbles, right guys. Now. Yeah. Oh, Apparently we're, I just we're lost gone. audio. We're gone completely. I see audio there. <laughs> Did I lose something it's else like, here? Uh, we're completely well, stricken fine. from the records. <laughs> Apparently. Blondie says she well, hears us. Let me just us. make sure. Oh, uh, Blondie! Can, yeah, Blondie can hear us, huh? I guess so. Yeah, I have audio Poor there. Roby. I just lost, randomly lost audio, guys. Yeah, so the whole stream can hear us except for Justin. Yeah, yeah they can. You can hear them, but I can't hear them. It's like I lost all the audio sound on my. I'm just gonna switch headsets real quick, guys. See if that fixes it. It's re it's really weird. Like I just realized, I can't hear anything. It is funny that we can hear him. Yeah. But he can't hear. Uh, hmm. I suppose different packs, maybe. Well, so his his mic's running through his okay, got it. Studio it studio worked, mic. It worked now. Okay. Hey. Welcome welcome back to the show. Yeah, I don't know what I was just I was like, <laughs> wait a minute, it got really quiet and not in a good way. <laughs> like, are they scheming over there? Yeah, it just was like all of a sudden. Okay, so now I got them back. It's got too much RAM, guys. That was the problem. It was too powerful. It was too, too powerful. powerful. But dang, can I just say how much different this whole experience has just been just by adding the RAM? It is really wild to see that. I mean, that's why we show it, right? It's like, this is like how like just like a $50 upgrade just made all the difference in the world for this. Okay. Okay, so there is Starfield. Let's check out COD hey, if it works. Hey. Did you uh, did you by chance leave VSync on with that? I did. VSync was on. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it, it, but it, I mean, again, it would it wouldn't have been too crazy. I mean, like it was really close to sixty, so it wasn't big enough. Like it was bad. I mean, it was worth changing everything. No, no, it's fifty bucks for two for two kits. Two sticks. For two sticks. So yeah, that was a fifty dollar upgrade. They're like right? twins. Tom, I think that's what I, Tom said. I, I thought Tom said they were forty-five ninety-nine times two. Oh, okay, so hundred bucks. Sorry. Yeah, hundred hundred bucks, two kits. Fifty dollars. Still. Still a hundred a hundred bucks for sixty FPS as opposed to three, three million dollar upgrade. Yeah. Three games took up 500 gigs. Yes. <laughs> COD. COD is like 160 gajillion gigs. <laughs> I, was, I was just about to, to say that. COD there's is a, the culprit. There's Always a reason I have nine terabytes. Yeah. Nine of them are COD. Only 8.5. Okay. Oh, now here's the question. Are we going to get the uh, the shaders loaded this time? Yeah, we're going to find out. Guys, I got to... The thing is, is like for the giveaways, a lot of times it's like because of how I do this stuff, people are going to say, hey, you're going to take pity. I understand. There's a reason when we look at the, the economics for these things. So, no, I, 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 I unfortunately I can't. 
because as part of when I look at everything's encapsulated, is I'd love to just throw in a one terabyte and f Kingston would absolutely do that. But the thing is, is that we have to, I make these goals so we can do giveaways. Guys, I've literally, I've given away four PCs in a two weeks and a laptop. So there's some economics with some of this stuff. So this one, this lap, this, this laptop did not come from, I did not get this laptop from MSI. MSI, I paid for this laptop to give away on this stream. This is my money being given away to you guys. So I paid for this and I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna earn back what I paid because I paid retail for this laptop for to give away today. This is my gift. A lot of times it's like my gift for giving the stuff away. Throw in an even if you flag. were given the, the laptop, you still gotta ship it out. Yeah. So. so it's like all that sort of stuff. So it's like one of those things that I like I, I wanted to do this, show you something and be like, you know what? They're gonna wanna see a lot. They wanna they're gonna want a laptop too. So that's what we're doing. Oh yeah, and, and Hidden pointed out to me as well, Call of Duty, as far as storage goes, it has nothing on Flight Sim. Yeah, Flight Sim I couldn't even do. <laughs> so if we got, if I'd love to get to 200, because again, 200 subs means that I break even on this stream. That's why I have it there. So I'm trying to do that to incentivize that we break even on the, yep, that almost, I, yeah, I almost break even on the stream. Hey, Jimmy, Yo, thank you for the 20 Jimmy. gifted subs. What Mac a Head, thank you very much for the gifted sub, too. Flight Sim is like, dude, it's so big. So big. Yeah, Hidden sent me a screenshot of his, and it's 371 gigs. Yeah. It's, yeah. Oh, that hurts. Thank you very much, Jimmy Kabax. Okay, guys, we are, and remember, 250 will make it a two terabyte, right? Um, but, uh, yeah, we're, we're only 20 subs away. We get 20 subs, 21 subs, then we put a one terabyte in. Imagine downloading flight sim on like an eight gig DSL or oh my eight gosh. megabyte DSL. <laughs> I just can't get over how much, what a big difference 32 gigs of <laughs> I just, I was so, I was so just trying to demonstrate and before it's like, I can't. I just can't take it. <laughs> I, I mean, just even if we cut the audio out of that piece right there, everyone could see you dancing with joy back there. <laughs> I was just like so happy. Okay, so we're gonna run basic settings just to see how this runs. 1920 by 20, 1080, we're gonna run to... Hey, Roby, can you flip back over to the uh, oh, laptop sorry. display again? Um, going to go to unlimited VSync on gameplay is off. We're going to turn off for game. Okay, here we go. It is not loading shaders. It's just stuck there. We're going to quit and try this again. DMAT, thank you for the five gifted subs. Uh, Weather Wizard asks, what would you say is the best budget laptop for students? I won't be using it for any gaming. Ooh, okay. My new favorite for and how much? What, what's your budget? When you say budget, what's your? When you say budget, what is budget? Because if I could say, the MSI, the A, the um, Prestige 16 AI, which I think it's like twelve or thirteen hundred bucks, it does so much because of the Meteor Lake CPU, crazy quiet, super light. It's got industrial, it's, uh, it's, it's also been, uh, the materials of the laptop are high grade, very dust resistant, also uh, puncture protection, and the screen is beautiful. But, 1200 bucks. It, it's, and, uh, sorry, I got 1400 on it. Oh, it's a 14, sorry, 1400 bucks. Yeah. Which is amazing, it's an amazing laptop. No, well, don't. And and here's the other part with that too that I want to point out. We uh, we started doing some productivity tests in uh, with some of these laptops that kind of cross the the identity borders between being like gaming laptops and and the everyday you know productivity laptops. And um, and so you know that this this one in particular, the MSI Prestige 16 AI we found ran the office suite at like 
12 hours, 13 hours on the battery. And so did really well with it. So Mandersky, this is where Meteor Lake actually comes in handy for that. I think you would be very impressed with that laptop. BRS, this game does not, this, the laptops come with no games. You do get, the, you do get, um, uh, you, get, you do get a, uh, a month of Game Pass though, which means you get access to a hundred games for a month. We still have one dad joke. I called my wife and asked her if I should pick up fish and chips on the way home from work, and she hung up. She's still angry she let me name the kids. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's pretty good. Come on, shaders. I'm gonna give it a little, I'm gonna give it like two minutes. No, I'm gonna give it 60 seconds. If it doesn't load, we're gonna load and re load, reload again. Dude, could you imagine if you named your kids Fish and Chips? <laughs> uh, I actually haven't, I don't play COD. My son plays a ton. I, I've heard that the zombie mode is really good, um, but I haven't played it. So I don't have an opinion on it. I like the single player campaigns and then I've heard the single player campaign on this is just like two minutes. So that kind of killed it for me. Yeah, I'm testing the MSI right now, yes. You gotta try the zombies. Yeah, I know. I should have played when we were at DreamHack. Zombies is great. Okay, let's try this again. We're literally just restarting it to load the sh Oh, wait, maybe it started? Okay, we're gonna try one more time. I'll probably still play it, because I really do dig the COD campaigns. COD is mid. Now, here's the real question for you, though, Roby. I know that? you bought it at DreamHack. Did you ever start against the storm? Oh, no. I haven't played that yet. Is it good? You've been playing it's it good. a lot still, it's, right? It's, it's good. I've, I've been playing it off and on. Right now, I've jumped back into Final Fantasy XIV online, so oh. there's, there's my time suck. The storage in this right now is 512. Uh, if we get another, what? 20 subs, I think we need 20 subs. We'll up upgrade it to one terabyte. We get another 70 subs. We'll upgrade it to, um, we'll upgrade it to um, two terabytes. Hey, it's loading, sh it's loading them again. Apparently you just gotta launch the game three times. Well, they do say third time's a charm, right? Yeah, they, and this time it was very true. We gotta be close to another hype train. I don't know, Blondie, do you know if we're close to another hype train? Call of shaders. You guys gotta watch the shaders load. Okay, Blondie says we could start one, which means we could unlock the last of the giveaways and we could lock, unlock the ultimate giveaway version of this if we wanted to right now, guys. So if somebody wants to start a hype train, it just takes one sub. Remember, extra entries towards this PC that's sitting back here, the sub-only PC, uh, which is a 4070. Uh, we have a link to that one. Um, the Spider-Man uh, Spider Into the Spider-Verse PC, which is up for grabs. Uh, it also means you get extra entries. Jimmy Kabax, drop in another 10 gifted subs. It also means you get extra entries towards winning this PC, this laptop. Every You get three additional entries for every for subs. You do not need to be subbed to, winter, to enter. Uh, also, it'll mean you get extra entries towards the, Star, the uh, Starfield PC we're building next week as well. Um, and uh, we have more PCs we're giving, around, we're giving away next week as well. So over the next month. So lots of options there. Um, that you that being subbed the, the next month is going to be worth it. Victor dropping five gifted subs. We are just about to start a hype train, guys. We are literally on the verge of starting one.
Hive train, one more, and then we start it. Oh, I'm sorry you got a cold. Still loading today. Hype train has started. Surprise attack gets it going. How high are we? Gun logger dropping it. Okay, two, we need 49. We've unlocked the one terabyte, guys. Let's get to, we need 49 subs to unlock the ultimate giveaway. Let's see, can we get to another level five? And I'll, here, here's what I'll do. If we get to 250, I'll also just throw in a Kingston giveaway for, it can be used for Xbox, it can be used for, it can be used for Xbox, it can be used for PlayStation, it can be used for PC. We'll throw in just an extra one if we get to 250. There we go, we'll just throw in an extra NVMe drive to give away just to anybody Ooh. else. So make it happen, guys. Okay, here we go. Najia, thank you very much. Okay, private match. So this is Call of Duty. If you're gonna play some MP on Call of Duty, how his, here's how it run. We can do it, guys. Let's get to low, we're almost through level five. We gonna at least get through level five. Hey, there we go. Reese Starker, Sarge dropping it in there. Kazia Hawthorne, 210. Keep it going, guys. Oh, screen, sorry. My bad. Mungo. Holy moly, this is doing really good. What? We wouldn't know. Now we know. <laughs> wow. Dude, this is doing 160 frames per second. <laughs> what the heck? Now this is 1080p, which is like half the resolution, but geez, dude. It's going hard. Yeah, there's some stutters. So there's definitely some lows there, but still. Yeah, the stream quality is not doing it justice, guys. Dude, it's almost hitting the 144 on its own. Three minutes, let's keep it going, guys. Dude, 163. Not too shabby. That's not too shabby at all. Okay, let's drop this. Let's uh, let's go to let's go ahead and uh, go up to ultra just to see what it'd be like if you were gonna play, if you're gonna play, uh, you know, zombies or. Anything like that, you don't care as much about frame rate. Okay, doing ultra. Remember, this is up for grabs to somebody. Come on, guys, two minutes. Let's get to level five. Keep it going, Lord Servo. Don't forget to follow. Remember, if you want to get extra entries, drop your Prime sub. You get a free Amazon Prime sub that gets you extra entries towards winning this laptop. So Prime subs count towards this stuff, too. And Thank just you, as a reminder. Also, as a reminder for everyone joining, before these before the giveaways are done, you need to join the Discord server. There we go. Homesteader dropping us in there. Okay, so this is it. This is Ultra. The call, the sound on this is actually not bad at all either. It's not as bassy, but still. Level six, there's level six. Oh, and subs are both discounted right now too, guys. So yeah, it's a cheap time to get in on all the giveaway stuff. 25% off on gifted subs. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Blade of Ice, we, def we definitely hit the goal this month. We're at like 500, or yeah, 500 sub points. That's awesome. Well done, everyone. We're gonna be doing the laptop giveaway here pretty quick. There it is, 72 frames per second. And that's an ultra. And it actually looked like it stuttered less. It stuttered less on that one for sure. 
I don't know if maybe there was some weirdness still with the shaders or whatever it was, but yeah. Do we have the uh, the link for this laptop for people to check it out? Yeah, we do. We have the link. It's and it's also in the if you're it's in the chat as well. I mean, uh, we've been dropping in the thing as well. Oh sweet. Uh, yeah, it's been coming up in here pretty. Okay, guys, level five, three minutes left. We got how close are we to ultra ultra laptop? Remember, guys, we want to get to 250. We're at 217. So we only need like 33 more subs, and then we'll also give away this one terabyte uh, drive to anybody. Okay, let's go and pop Apex Legends in here because it's, I, it's all I have. I only, I only had room for three games. I thought you guys would care more about <laughs> Apex. I only had room for three games and two of them were COD. Yeah, one of them was COD. I couldn't put Cyberpunk and Starfield. If we get to, if we, okay, I'll just do it. If we get to level six, we'll give this away. Let's just see if we can get to level six. If we get to level six, I'll give this away. The one terabyte drive, guys. Poster boy, thank you very much. And remember, just drop your prime sub. If you go in there, load it up, and then you're, you're basically good to go. There you go, DMAT dropping three. We can do it, guys. Admiral Dinas. We're so close now. There it is, level six. And we'll just give it away right now, just because. Because you guys are awesome. Now we're getting close to 250. Just to keep, get, you guys haven't had a giveaway in a while. Let's do a giveaway right now. Okay, let's do exclamation point Kingston. Because they're awesome. Exclamation point, Kingston. Two, one minute, guys. Two minutes, sorry. Going right now. Remember, subs get extra entries. Still trying to get to 250 to do that final upgrade, but we're going we're gonna to do a one terabyte at least. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let's see how this runs. It's been so long since I've seen this. You act like this isn't your daily game. Dude, the real Satan just subscribed to me. That was much faster in terms of compiling, compiling stuff. Okay, let's do, let's put it on basic settings. And to be fair, it should be faster at compiling things considering this will run on my phone. Yeah, this is like, I was trying to show games that will run, that will run, that will take advantage of the 144 Hertz. Yep. Eight gigs, high, ambient occlusion. Let's put it on low. Low. Medium. Low. Medium. Okay, there we go. Let's, let's give this a go. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here we go. Last game, and then we'll give the other PC away. Six seconds, guys. Just better? What do you mean it doesn't work? That's weird. Oh, no. I think I didn't load. I think I'm... I hope I'm loading the game I want to play. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ranked match. Hey, congratulations, Matrim88. You won the NVMe drive. 
We are down to, to get that last little bit, guys. I think we're super close. We only need 17 subs, 17 subs, and we'll give away the, we'll have a fully maxed out laptop giveaway. And remember guys, if you wanna get extra entries towards the laptop giveaway, just drop your free Prime sub. No, do not follow me. I'm gonna relinquish that. <laughs> okay, so we're sitting at 119, 114. Very playable. No, we're, dude, this guy wants to just drop hot like a moron. Your whole team's like, we got Roby Tech. We're winning. Yeah, that guy's like, that guy's full of, we're going to die. <laughs> zip ties and no plan. Yep, exactly. He, he forgot, got, he forgot the thermal winning. paste. Okay, I got no gun. I got a throwing star in a dream. <laughs> okay, I got freaking the worst gun in the world. Oh, we got a Mozambique here. Mozambique here. You might be better off with a throwing star. No kidding. Dude. I mean, I got lots of other stuff, but not... I have, like, no... I have, like... I can't believe there's, like, no... Oh, this is where, like, all the hot drops were. I'm always too scared to drop here. Well, maybe I should drop here more often. I need a backpack. All I know is there's already lots of squads dying. Hey, there you go. I don't know what I, I don't I need none of that stuff, but hey. Well, there you go. That'd be better. I got 35 bullets in a dream. Hey, at least you still have your dream. Hey, he's got that throwing stars back up. Can we get? Oh, <laughs> finally. The throwing stars name is the dream. <laughs> I just need a good shoddy. Got a shield. There we go. It's like somebody heard what I needed. Oh, why did I say that? I didn't mean to. Just ignore what I said. <laughs> pay no attention to what I'm saying. Yeah, pay no attention to what I'm saying. Well, still, I mean, like, I'm I'm enjoying my time playing on this laptop. I'm terrible, but I'm at least enjoying playing. And that's what's important. I ran I don't in a know circle, the boys and girls. The, the stream is saying you're going to get your dub. Dude, if I got the right team who can carry me, absolutely. <laughs> Ruby's ready to hop in that backpack. I am all the time. Dude, where did my guys go? They're using you as a decoy. Oh, they went up that way. I believe as the kids would say, they're securing the bag. That is two laps now. Where is he? How did he get up there? Oh shoot! I didn't. Even, how did I even get hit?
Thank you. I'm alive. Everything's fine. Yay. Nothing to see here. That knock didn't count. Nope. He was just trying to let his teammates get kills. Oh, jeez, whatever. All right, well, at least it showed. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. At least I was able to show you my win. Guys, that was like the greatest win ever. Oh, was I shooting my team? No, I wasn't. That was my Maybe. teammate? Oh, my God. Were you pulling a blondie? <laughs> I was pulling a blondie, guys. Well, I'm glad I shot my own team. So it's been a while since I played that game. <laughs> wow. Blondie is proud. Oh my gosh. I just channeled my inner blondie. Wow. Okay, guys. Well, I think we have shown very clearly that I'm really good at Apex. But more than that, guys, we have shown that this is a very viable laptop. We've shown you two great viable laptops at two great prices. So again, we have a sub $1,000 laptop, which we're gonna give away here very, very shortly. Uh, via the Hey, Jimmy, thank you very much. Guys, we're 10 subs away from the ultimate one. We just need Jimmy try to, oh, never mind, we're there. Jimmy made sure we're there. We're, never mind, we're there. Um, so we've unlocked the ultimate giveaway here. That means we'll have a two terabyte drive in this, 32 gigs of RAM. Uh, let me actually go back to the parts list and just correct it so that way it's the right parts list. So this is the laptop we are going to be giving away today. Um, there we go. So we're going to be giving away, it's a, uh, it's the uh, MSI Cyborg 15. It's got a 12th gen 12650H and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060, 512 gig SSD, which is now gonna be two terabytes, 32 gigs of RAM instead of eight gigs. And then we have a one, it's got HDMI 2.1 and it's a 144 Hertz screen. The other thing too is that we saw it ran, it ran Starfield at 60 plus FPS at medium settings at 1080p. It ran Call of Duty with MP settings at 164 frames per second. We saw Apex Legends running at 113 frames per second. So again, it's uh, got 144 hertz grain. Valorant will have no problem. Uh, if you run League of Legends, no problem. Fa uh, uh, fa um, uh, Fortnite will run beautifully on this as well. And all of these sort of things. And again, sub 800 bucks. Then if you wanted to, you could jump up to the Lenovo Legion. Again, 4070, we're jumping, we're at 1440p. We have 60 frames per second on Starfield, 70 or 80 frames per second on uh, Call of Duty uh, with, um, for MP settings, and this is at 1440p, or you could drop down to 1080p and get numbers just like this. One of the best IPS screens that we have ever seen, plus no, uh, lot, not a lot of noise, beautiful form factor, uh, and then again, upgradable to 32 gigs as well. So. Remember, a couple things before we get into the giveaway here very, very shortly. And then huge shout out to Jimmy for being so awesome uh, on, the, uh, on the subs as well as Speed Racer as well. A uh, couple things. One, you do need to be a member of the Discord, discord.gg slash robytech. We're going to go through the couple of the um, entry level giveaways here in just a few minutes. So please make sure you've joined. If you want extra opportunities to win this, Use your Amazon Prime sub, get you three extra entries towards winning this. You do not need to be subscribed to winning this laptop. For international winners, you can enter to win. It's open worldwide as long as there's not a U.S. embargo and you are willing to pay shipping and, and uh, customs taxes. Uh, in the U.S., Canada, or Mexico, you have no other, in, you can enter no problem. There's, it's all covered for you right there. So also make sure that you're following on Twitch, you're subscribed on YouTube, you've liked the YouTube video. Those three things have to have happened. Uh, and you're a member of Discord. So that's all there is, okay? You guys ready? Clear as mud. First one we're gonna do, we're gonna do two giveaways. This is the two community giveaways for $25 new A gift cards that you guys have unlocked. We're gonna do those giveaways right now. Exclamation point community, exclamation point community for these ones. And this is two $25 new A gift cards up for grabs, guys. Okay, two minutes, guys. What did you say, Damien? Man, this laptop, it, for what we just saw, and it's amazing when you added the $100 to it, it's a it's a beast. I would use this. But that's the problem is I have a lot of laptops now too, so my wife would be like, I'm, she, I'm sure she's really happy it's going away. You can't use them all. 
I can't use them all. I mean, it's not like I mean, Pokemon. He, he, he can. He can put one in this room and one in this room and one in this That's room. true. Like he does his desktops. Yeah, I, I've, I've done... Luckily, you can put more than one laptop. You can have, like, multiple laptops. Like, one... You can have ten laptops equals one desktop in terms of space. You know what I mean? So I feel like there's uh, just... No? No, not quite ten. Okay, twenty. Okay, okay, we're going the wrong direction now. <laughs> Miss Mrs. Roby, when you when you witness this later, I, I stuck up for you on this one. <laughs> you did, you did. <laughs> and and Roby, while the hype's going on here for this, did uh did our resident bot curate any deals for today? He did. We actually do. Let's go and run those. We'll we'll run those the last two things that we got for today. We'll run those on the the very laptop that we are giving away. So I'll bring those up while we run the, the last of this stuff. I'm loading, hold on, loading it up, guys. Two minutes still. Okay, so a little weird, but at the same time, always want to make sure because these guys are a, a regular thing. But if you get finished installing or you in, finish building a new PC or for instance, you may wipe a new laptop and then you need to install an OS and you need a product key. If you were to go and pick up a product key from someplace like Best Buy, etc., regularly, if you were gonna pick up Windows, uh, it regularly costs you 100 and something, 150 bucks. But here at VIP slash CDKDeals.com, you can pick up a copy of Windows 10 Pro for as little as $23.09 or Windows 10 Home for $19.09. But if you go here, click Windows 10 Pro, use, hit buy now, and use code RBCK at checkout, RBCK, just like this. Hit apply. What was $23.09 drops all the way down to $16.16, .16, which is a very, very much more reasonably priced <clears throat> Microsoft Windows. What about a copy of Office? Well, let's take a look here. Here's Office 2021. Uh, what was regularly 140, uh, sorry, 250 bucks if you were gonna buy it standalone, you can buy it here at VIP slash CDK deals for $114.74. Hit buy now. Again, same thing, use RBCK at checkout, hit apply. And what was $114.74 drops all the way down to $81. Hey, Blitz and Blake, thank you very much. Uh, $81, $80.32. Now, we have been using VIP slash CDK deals for years. We have thousands of people here at Roby Tech who've used it and have uh, used it to buy, uh, to get copies of Windows. They have great customer service. You can ask them if you have questions. They are legit. They are legitimate. Uh, they are legitimate copies of Windows uh, and they are one use code. So it means you can't like obviously move it between uh, different PCs and stuff like that. So if you have questions, head over to VIP slash CDKDeals.com, use code RBCK at checkout uh, for a chance to save money and get Windows or Office cheap. They also have stuff like, uh, they also have games and other things as well, but those the codes don't work for. Last thing I want to tell you about is Roby Tech. Um, we don't just test laptops. In fact, this is one of the first times, I think this is, maybe we've done this twice, but one of the few times we've ever actually done laptops. I'd love to know your feedback over on Discord if you've enjoyed a show like this, um, if you'd like to see more of us showing more laptops, etc. Again, huge shout out to Best Buy uh, and NVIDIA uh, for giving us the opportunity to do so. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, we also, most of the time, we just build PCs. Um, and we build PCs here on the show, or we do gaming, etc. So if you wanted to have me build a PC for you, we do do limited numbers of commissions. If you want to find out more about that, you can head over to robytech.com. The other thing, too, that's also really about Roby, awesome about Robytech is that we also have this thing here that says build. So if there's any build that you've liked on our stuff, like, for instance, if you liked, uh, wow, okay, if you liked the... Grinch build, here's the Grinch build, all the parts that we put inside of it, as well as the video to follow along. Or if you wanted to pick up one of those Asus Pro Art PA 602s, we have all the links to all the parts and everything we've done. For this particular stream, I thought this was really cool. Tom actually made 
a website. It On the website, it shows them, it gives you links to Bic. For instance, if you wanted to clone the drive, you could get this to uh, clone the drive. And here are different NVMe drives if you wanted to upgrade um, either one of them as well as the RAM as well. So if you head over to robytech.com, uh, go to builds, all of that stuff is there for you as well. But let's see what deals Tom has found today. Here we go. Stream is not over yet, we're gonna do the giveaway. Uh, Razer Huntsman Mini 60 inch wired optical clicky switch keyboard uh, on sale right now, $50 off, making it $69.99. Uh, we have that the Razer Nari Ultimate Wireless Gaming Headset for the PC, PS5, and PS4, $100 off, $99.99. That's a really good price on that for that headset. I like those headsets. I don't. I like them because they're not as like it's not as foamy and it doesn't make your ears sweat. LG Ultra Gear 27 inch IPS QHD one millisecond G-Sync monitor. $100 off, so picking up for $299.99 over at Best Buy right now. I love this monitor, the Alienware. This monitor is bonkers. So I've actually got to see this for the first time. One thing the Alienware does really, really well, I don't know, I don't know Zeiston, Bmock, uh, or Damien, if you guys have ever used an Alienware monitor, but their monitors are awesome. Oh, their monitors are phenomenal. Yeah. So this one is their AW32, their Quantum Dot OLED curved ultra wide. It's currently $200 off, making it $799.99. Uh, if you're looking for a really great ultra wide curved monitor, this one is awesome. ROG Ally, seven inch, 120 inch. If you don't want to get a laptop, but you could use a, a desktop, I love the ROG Ally. Uh, right now it's on sale, $200 off, $399.99. That's a great price for an ROG Ally. And then the Samsung Odyssey OLED G8. This is their 34 inch ultra wide. Man, two great monitors. I'll just tell you this, the bottom row, Great deals, 600 bucks off for $899.99 over at Best Buy. Wow, I will just say these bottom three right here are amazing. So those are really, really good options. So anyway, that's it, VIP slash TDK deals. And then of course, these are the deals. Everybody say, thank you, Tom. Uh, thank you, Tom. I don't, I don't think the, I don't know if the Samsung is the same. It's the same, it might be. No, because this is WQHD versus dot, uh, dot OLED. I don't know. Maybe. It might be. Everybody say thank you, Tom. Thanks, Thanks Bot. Tom. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Bot, for doing that. Okay. Let's see. We've given away. Is there anything else before I get to the laptop giveaway, Blondie? Is there something else that I've missed, or are we good to do the laptop giveaway? I'm waiting for, Tom, for Blondie to, and I'm, I'm giving you guys time to go and do... Make sure Join you're doing following, Discord. subscribing, all that sort of stuff before we get in there. What did she say? Are we good, Blondie? She says we're good. Okay. All systems are go. Okay. Here we go, guys. This is for... All and congratulations, by the way, to Sriracha Swipe and Kurosaki. Kurosaki, dude, that's awesome. This is for the MSI laptop. Uh, let me put it in here real quick. The MSI Cyborg Borg 16, 15, sorry, laptop. A thousand dollars, essentially nine hundred dollars, if you consider what we we've upgraded it and stuff like that. We're gonna have four. Uh, we're gonna have four minutes to enter. You must, if you want to get extra entries, you have time to drop your Prime sub, okay? Exclamation point Best Buy, because they are the primary sponsors. Exclamation point Best Buy. Saving that right now. Exclamation point Best Buy, starting right now. Four, three, four minutes. Four minutes, guys. Now make sure that you are following on, you're on Discord. You have subscribed to YouTube. You're following on Twitch. And if you want to get extra entries, drop your Prime sub, because now is the time. You're going to get extra entries if you do it this way. Giveaway is happening, guys. And then once we're done, don't forget we have to confirm that the giveaway is legit and that everything is good. All right, so stream-wise, the next stream that is coming up is the Starfield build that'll be coming up next week. The other thing, too, is that we also have the Lee 011 Dynamic 
um, co commission build that'll be happening next week as well. Uh, and then we have CES. So there'll be some streams and stuff for CES. The other thing too is that we also have to get preparation for and we'll have more details on uh, we have the NVIDIA keynote that'll be happening that we'll be streaming that as well. And then we'll probably also have potentially morning uh, game streams. We haven't determined what that is. We probably, it'll just be like loosey loose, uh, loosey goosey, that sort of thing. So just, I might just randomly show up. Um, we're trying not very hard not to overwork our amazing um, staff of moderators and all that sort of stuff. But that'll all, we're, we're gonna see how 2024 is. I just wanna give a huge shout out, just stop right now. I just want to give a huge shout out to my moderators who have stuck with me the entire time, my tech specialists and my tech staff, people like Zeiston, uh, BMOC, we have Cole, uh, mostly Martinez, Blondie McGeeky, uh, so many that I would love to name. Uh, we got Bernie, uh, we got, I mean, seriously, Maiden, I mean, so many of you guys, uh, Org, um, so many people who are just uh, a critical part of the staff who've been here for the entire year and a huge thank you for you guys making 2023 so awesome. I mean, I love to see we've had multiple streams over a thousand, we have 830 people here right now. So thank you so much to them. Um, and then I hope that once we announce this, that you guys have a great rest of your new year's that you guys are safe and all that sort of stuff as well. Um, yeah, I think that's it while I'm still killing time for the winter to happen. One minute and 45 seconds. And Just to those singing. people who uh, light off fireworks for New Year's, make sure to keep all your digits. There you go. Keep all your digits <laughs> and keep your. make sure your pets are safe, guys. Be good exactly. to your pets. Take care of your dogs and your cats. And no, no, no dog fighting. I feel like that's fair too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Legit. yeah. Okay, just making sure we're cleaning this up. And then just to be clear, this PC does not come with any games installed. I don't know why people thought that was a question. <laughs> a lot of people were like, does it come with, nope, no games that are gonna be installed. It will be, it'll also, come new just with the RAM and a drive. We should probably also give the disclaimer too that no, we don't think that you should put your laptops in the dishwasher or microwave yes, or ovens. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, or, fire, or campfires or, campfires. or any of those things. That Wait, we don't? <laughs> well, you know. And to be super clear, you Officially. do not need to preheat your laptop. That's not a thing. Okay, guys, we are down 30 seconds. 30 seconds, we're gonna draw our winner. That's perfect time for me to go get some more coffee. There we go. That's why I did it. It was all about you, Zeiston. I believe it. Don't, don't preheat your laptops. It's not necessary. But do tuck them in. Yeah, tuck them in. You know, like I like to put mine in the protective sack here. Just just not into the blanket on your lap while you're using it. Yeah, right. that's a good call. Good call. That brings up a fun question. Do you have a protective sleeve for laptops that you recommend? Um, No. Uh, it's funny because it's like I, I only recently got into... Um, doing like more standard off the shelf ones versus like when you talk about like Falcons or um, yeah, yeah. Origins, they always come with them. Okay. So I need, you know, that's something we should look into. We should. Do you have one that you recommend? I don't. That's oh. why I'm asking because I'm looking at getting one for the, uh, for the Legion. Oh. Mine stays in my backpack. Yeah, a lot of now backpacks actually have like sleeve specifically my my lenovo yoga also stays in my backpack what is the backpack that you typically recommend to people i, I have a peak you... design which i absolutely love which is a camera camera max bag okay oh that sucks i have an ogio we did we what? unlocked the ssd you're getting an ssd upgrade and everything congratulations to frajola frajola winning the laptop, we just gotta confirm, guys, don't leave. This, we gotta make sure that everything is good. We gotta make sure everything's good, hold on. Don't leave yet. We've actually had one of these where people left and then we still had to do the redraw. So congratulations for Jola, we're just gonna confirm, waiting for the text. Hopefully everybody has an amazing Holiday, holiday. 
Blondie is working on it. Oh, that was that was actually a YouTube person too. Yeah, it was YouTube, which is like, all right. yeah, all right. We don't get winners on YouTube all the time, but some people are saying you people on YouTube never win. Proof that you're wrong. Okay, just stand by, guys. I gotta wait for the text. Let's me know what's gonna happen. While you're waiting. When my wife told me to stop impersonating a flamingo, I had to put my foot down. They're currently responding on YouTube. <laughs> So just waiting for Blondie now for her DMs over on Discord. Did you hear that? When my wife told me to stop impersonating a flamingo, I had to put my foot down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. Uh, right now, the current winner is... Uh, is... Uh, Frajola. 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 And I'm just waiting for confirmation from Miss Blondie But Geeky. From a... No, the Legion is not being given away. No, that leave that 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 is not being given away. Just the MSI. It's, it's precious to us. It's gonna Maybe be another in the one. Future, but we're Ruby only giving away the, the MSI. Oh, you you know it's just another one you're gonna try and snug, smuggle into your house. Yeah, I actually uh, want to keep that one. Is that a, it is a Robitech build mat, and those will be here in early in the new year. Those are definitely unobtainium. Yeah, right. We gave away the last ones I had last stream. I have no idea where my phone is. Where is you probably put it back down. Probably oh, put it back on your wire it's, racks. It's underneath the thing. Okay, I'm just waiting for Blondie to. Winner is confirmed. Congratulations to Frajola. You were the winner of the MSI. So, big week this week. We gave away the Grinch PC. We gave away the Falcon. We gave away the MSI Cyborg laptop. And next week, for the first stream of the year, we are gonna be giving away the Starfield custom-built PC we're gonna be building here on stream. I think that's on Tuesday. Haven't confirmed yet. Just look for the schedule to show up over on discord.gg slash robytech. Anyway, guys, happy new year. If I don't Happy see you until next year, uh, outside of that, thank you so much for being here. Have an amazing, amazing New Year's Eve. Be safe. Take care of your pets. Feed Zeiston. Pet Bimok. Kick Dame. No. Hug Damien. Uh, <laughs> smile at Org. And then send Blondie lots of hearts on, on uh, Discord. Anyway, guys, have a happy New Year, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. And remember, smoke lots of meat this year. There you go. Bye, guys. Yeah.